Pimple Chicken. Uh, hello, everyone. I am exhausted. You ever just eat so much, or just like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to play video games today. Well, that's me. I uh, just got back from hanging out with Edo, uh, the two of us, well, four of us, technically. Me, Lonely, Edo, and Edo's uh, boyfriend, Jason. We all got together. We ate some Korean fried chicken. It was fucking delicious. Nice, nice. Very nice. Only thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. 55 months. Nice. Fair's good man. So, uh, I got honey garlic. Lonely had just golden original. Uh, Edo got Galbi. He split it with her, her boyfriend. Yeah, and kimchi fried rice as well. It was, oof. Fried chicken is expensive here nowadays. Make it yourself. For making fried chicken yourself is amazing. I've done it before. Welcome though. We got Crow, Arcade, Tar6, Broly, Draco, Hare, Orion, Lunasol Fox, Sentinel. How'd you get an early? You're right here. How'd you get an early copy of Digimon Survive? I mean, the title screen sure looks weird, and they misspelled Survive. Yeah. I don't know why people keep wanting to get me to play Digimon, even though I'm like, I, I don't like Digimon. It's not it's not for me, but uh, here I am, trying it out anyway. Obligatory Pulse 12. Do you want me to do it? I'll, I'll do the Pulse 12. It's it's him going, Digimon Digital Monsters, blah, 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 blah. Who gives a fuck? That's how I feel about Digimon. Because I, I, I just can't get into it. None of the games are ever good when I play it. You know how drunk he was, Arcade, when he did the, the Pulse 12? He was just, like, fucking blasted. It's just very loud, so I, I like to play it and blow Traz's ears out, as one does. I only have seen a lot of art of uh, one Digimon. I can't imagine which Digimon it would be. Nope. Not- I can't imagine. But uh, I respect Digimon, it's just, it's just not for me. But uh, we're gonna try it out anyway. This is what was requested. Metal Greymon! Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be anything else. The new Tigig set is coming out. That's how you say that, right? Anime series is excellent. Never seen a good Digimon game and have looked. Nope. This could be it. If I enjoy this game as someone who doesn't like Digimon, that's how you know it's good. You know? It's, it's one of the two. Wasn't allowed to watch Digimon as a kid. Oh, you were the kid who uh, the parents divorced because of Angela Anaconda. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How, can you tell me about the situation? I have to bring it up every time we play a Digimon game on stream. It's just too funny. I was like, yes, it was me the entire time. We just wanted to see the Digimon movie. If you don't know about that story, uh, some random kid went to see uh, Angela Anaconda with her parents and they fought over uh, the start of the movie for, for the Digimon movie because they were like, what is this? You got the wrong ticket. The cause to a divorce. Real reason, mom got caught wind of the Porygon episode. Yeah, that's fair, even though that never aired in America. But that makes sense. I just find it really funny that that happened. Like, I want to meet that person and ask them more about that, but not in like a haha that was funny, but like... Dude, I hope they like made up after that. Did they ever like years later like talk? You're allowed to watch Sailor Moon Monster Rancher. I forgot they did a Monster Rancher anime. Yeah. In the Hello Kitty show. I could be any Hello Kitty show. 
<laughs> you must have watched Agratsuko as a kid, a show that only aired in like 2018. Onward. I haven't even seen season four, I've only seen the first three, and uh, first season is kind of the best one. Season two is really good too. Fucking Fish, Isn't Agratsuko a Netflix exclusive? I don't know. Probably. Making steak fries. How you doing, Blue Bomber? What's up? It, does that mean you're making fries out of the steak? Or you're like, like steak-shaped fries out of like meat? Do you know what steak fries are? Yeah, that's what I just said. Here you go. Of course I know what steak fries are. Come on. You've, you've been around here long enough. I know you have. You, re you really think I don't know what steak fries are? Fuck the smiley fries. Absolutely garbage. They taste terrible. Low quality effort. I can't believe you would bring this up on my stream. By the way, for anyone who is curious, I'll bring it up again later. There is an alert. We added the new alert. I gotta add some more, but uh, it's 150 bits for a chance at shooting the bottle. There is a very small chance you will get the one where you shoot the bottle. It's like 5% chance to shoot the bottle. You wanted to make waffle fries? I don't know how to make waffle fries. That seems like complicated unless you have the right tool. You were watching that earlier today. I'm so sorry, Furion. I backlogged a lot of stuff yesterday for uh, the archive. Hey, Dog McCree. Yo, Eater, what's up? Digimon Racing. Hmm. Let's see what kind of a shot you are, Pilgrim. I don't know why it looks like that, but Well that's a shame. Uh I I see you missed. But thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. You get you can try another! Why, why is it, like, the wrong aspect ratio is what I want to know. That should be 4 by 3 I'll have to fix that. Kirby's Avalanche got released. Nice. It is time. Let's get started. For that. For that. Or... Oh god, this is loud. Dalamon. Cannot pick Renamon? Garbage game. What do you mean it's locked? Why would you lock a color? She's unlockable, it's garbage. I do not like how this controls. By the way, I'd like to point something out about this game. Uh, this game is a wireless GBA game? Wow, this controls like fucking garbage. Holy shit, I hate this. I knew immediately as soon as I heard it was teaching about I'm like, this is not gonna end well. I, that's like the only thing I have nice to say about this game is like, damn. Doing, doing a GBA? That's pretty cool. GBA wireless? You know, that's a big deal. It is just so slippery! 
I would rather be playing Shrek Kart. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'd rather be playing Mario Kart Super Circuit. I, I just, I can't do Digimon on story, is what I've learned. It's just forbidden. Wow, that's terrible too! They put in a power that makes it so you have to... Your, your controls are just reversed? That's fucking terrible. No, no, that's awful. This is the first race in the game. Look at how bad we're doing. Would you rather be playing Garfield Kart? I mean, yeah, I played it on stream. I enjoyed it. Does Digivolving do anything? I think it makes you faster, but... Like, it, this is just impossible to control this game. This might be the worst GBA kart racer I think I have ever had to play. hard to get GBA racing right. There's a few games that are pretty good, but this is just not fun. This is just bad. It's just so terrible. Like, I, I don't really have much else to say. I'm just, like, upset they fucked it up so badly. They focused so long on getting the GBA wireless working. Mario Strikers updates out. They got the voices from the show. I wouldn't say that's a positive. That doesn't really contribute to the gameplay. I mean, sure, that's that's nice they got the voices from the show, but like, is it gonna make the gameplay any better? Not really. Gameplay always comes first. And this is, this is bad. There, there is no such thing as good Digimon games. I'm sorry. Maybe the newer ones are good, but I don't have any interest in playing them. I just can't control anything. Anytime you go in any direction, you're basically stuck. Who made this, by the way? Was it like Natsume? Never even heard of Grip tonight. Don't know who that is, but they probably only make mobile games. I don't. I don't know what that is. People who like Digimon, does this honestly look fun to you? Cyber Sleuth, and it was not fun to you. Maybe I'd like that because it's turn-based RPG. Maybe. I always think it's a detective game, but it's, it has nothing to do with being a detective. Okay, this is kind of a neat track design. I can respect that.
Cyber Sleuth is fun. There's detective work in it. Is the detective worse? Better or worse than in Judgment? Also, holy shit, the fact that you bounce so far from such a light tap. Awful. I don't understand why the turning is so awkward. Like, look at that! You can't drift at all! You may say I picked a character with bad stats. I picked the character with the most balanced stats. I picked Mario, basically. If Mario doesn't have good enough stats to enjoy this game, I don't know what is. Hi, Venus. What's up? I decided to say to drag, I think. Welcome. Yeah, the detective work in Judgment is super basic, too. I don't know why you're asking me, because, uh, again, I, d I don't like Digimon, I've never seen it, so... I I'm, I'm here only playing this because someone was like, hey, can you play this? Please, please do not give me Digimon games. It's it's just gonna be me complaining. If you want me to just complain about games that I don't like and I'm interested in, this is the way to do it. You can you can you can pick those. I'm just saying that this, that's what it's gonna be. It's been, it's been like this for every Digimon game. I have nothing nice to say, which sucks. I, I I've given every one of these games a very fair chance, and it's just I don't know. They they make it so hard to enjoy them. Good. Come on, how do you only have one point? I didn't like Rumble Arena. You've seen me stream it like three different times on jukeboxes. Don't like it. I do not like it. I, I'm not kidding when I say I don't like Digimon. I, nothing that is, anyone has ever tried to do has ever gotten me into this series. It's just not a series for me. And my problem with Rumble Arena is you don't want to digivolve because you have to sit through loading screens. And then if someone digivolves, the other player digivolves, so you have to sit through another loading screen. And it just ruins the flow of gameplay. Is Digimon made for a better TV series? Pokemon made for a better gaming series? Probably! I probably would like Digimon if I watched the show. But I, I never did, and I don't think at this point I want to. I have a lot of other stuff I'd rather watch. Digimon Racing? Nice. I, I hate to disappoint you, Exodrive, but I do not like this game. God, it looked like fucking Sank was in front of me. That really bad Sa Sanic growing. Maybe there's a Digimon Rumble Arena 2, and Rumble Arena 2 got rid of the load times? Well, I never played it, so I have no interest. Summer Wars? I don't know what that is. Hi, Commander Keen. Isn't Sanic already really bad, Sanic? Yes. I also don't understand the hitbox on these things as I pass by them. Why am I getting attacked by them? I'm not even driving into them. Digimon. 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really gonna walk away with this saying that I think Shrek Kart was a better game. You can quote me on that. Shrek Kart was honestly better than this. It controls. This, you just, you slip off too easy. You know what was a really good GBA racer is that Crash GBA racing game we played. Better luck next time. Oh, there won't be a next time. Pento, you have the most handling. Maybe you will play better. If you don't handle any better, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Hi, Gammy, what's up? Welcome back to the internet. How did you survive? I That must have sucked. Library. Well, having fun isn't hard when you got a library card. Okay, this plays decently when you get the ability that you need. The only thing I think Digibon, Digivolving, whatever it is, does, I think it increases the item effectivity, but it costs your, like, meter? I, I can't even tell you because I don't know. you catch up on one piece just in time for it to come back uh, you know what no this kind of still controls like shit I was right. Okay, it does do that. It uses some of your meter, so it like powers up the items. Still about three volumes behind. Rip. Like, the only good thing I have going for this game is, well, it had wireless. Wireless GBA was a thing you could do with this. I guess that's kind of neat. That's it. Like, I don't know. I feel if you only got into Digimon through the games, I, I would need to ask what you played that was such a big deal. Digimon World? I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of these games are. Hi Prankster, what's up? 
flip through no yo. Why was six afraid of seven? Because he was a sex offender. That's not a joke, that's just like what he did, you know. Or rather, he was a six offender. Who Seven, eight D's nuts. A. I'm gonna save that one for when Dalton stops by later. Nobody steal my joke. You know it's not my joke. I'm stealing it from someone else. How you doing, though, Poke? Is Pokemon in this? Yes. I'm sure Pikachu's here or Pika Blue, one of them. Renamon turns into Pikachu. They are both yellow mice, so that checks out. Begin with an original D's nuts joke. My favorite one is asking people, hey, uh, do you like Imagine Dragons? You ever hear their new album? And it's like, oh, uh, no, I can't say I have. Well, uh, can you imagine Dragon D's nuts? Hi, Hippo, what's up? Uh, garbage. It's garbage. Some garbage Digimon game. Uh, Hippo! Birthday stream coming up. Sunday. Be hi. We're gonna do some Jackbox, uh, and some Gardic, so be hyped. By the way, uh, for people who missed it earlier, new alert for 150 bits. I really just gotta get lonely to make up the menu thing below, just like pretty up all the stuff below the stream at some point. Because people do ask, like, what are what are the bit things you can do? But well, someday we'll have to do that. Because we could just use the same thing and just put different text. Just... Goku's voice changes between Frieza and so. By the way, apparently there's like a. The Dragon Ball game where you, you get hunted by Frieza is coming out at some point. Apparently Frieza is confirmed bisexual. And that... Shout out to Bi Frieza. How you doing, Mosuki? I see your, your D's Nuts comments. Tio was an original simp, let's be real here. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I kinda still don't like this, I think this game is still just... Kind of unplayable, even with the best controlling character. Oh. Sorry to all Digimon fans. This is it's just this is proving I, I cannot get into Digimon, especially with the item that just decides you have reverse controls randomly. Now your ears don't work. It's okay, Hippo. They didn't work to begin with. GBA games ain't a good example. It's not just this prankster. If you've been here before and you've seen me any other time and anyone has asked for any Digimon game, it's been the same thing of, I just do not like this game. Didn't like Rumble Arena. 
complaining earlier about it. I was saying, like, this is why I don't like this one. Digimon is just not a series for me. You've evolved my Imagine Dragon joke. Did you did evolve it? Okay, that one was me. Oh, yeah, like I said earlier, um, unless you really, really want to see me complain about Digimon, I don't think that's fun. Uh, maybe, maybe don't ask for Digimon. That is probably the nicest way I could put it of like, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to complain for a half hour. I, I really try not to, but like, whew. This game is spicy, but not in a good way. Pokemon RimWorld. I haven't played RimWorld, but that's pretty cool. I did see that one time in RimWorld, Hatsune Miku gave Scoop from Animal Crossing a joint and he died. His ducks can't smoke weed. How do we do with Digimon today? The monster collecting the game? The, the one that battles and such? Our racer, and they're in Shrek Swamp. Yeah? Actually won? What? Well, if for some reason you really want to ask it for this in the future, we we did it. Omnimon. Oh, okay. Boss battle? What the fuck is this? Nope. I'm on a timer. I mean, I've played Mario Kart before. You gotta ram him, and then he's like, ow, you're going fast enough. You know, the boss fights in Mario Kart DS were actually really good, but this game did it first, so a little bit of respect for it, a little bit of respect. Hi Gab, what's up? Clear genocide. in here. I mean, this is the cheese strat. Oh, I can't fucking fire it. Uh-oh.
You actually, you actually need meter to use items. Gross. Come on, bullshit, that didn't count. Hi, Blue Ocean. It's me, famed uh, Digimon hater. Playing Digimon. Digimon hater. Yo, Dalton, what's up? I did some of that, uh, multiverses. New Nuso stuff dropped? What games? By the way, Dalton, you missed some epic gamer moments. I don't know if you saw the uh, Iron Giant gameplay that we did. It was quite epic. Diva? Never even heard of it. It's Puyo 1 Kirby, which is why the AI is so, uh, awful. Am I actually gonna win a race for once? Just win the race. Just win the race. I don't care what it takes. Just win, just win, the, just win the race. He's cheating. He's cheating. Am I gonna win the race? Probably not ban that guy for two hours. Minimum. Sixty seconds, good enough. That'll teach him. You fucking jinxed it. You jinxed it, Horizon. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty funny. Let's move on. 
Hello! Welcome! You know what time it is? It is time for Jukebox. Where we play a game for a half hour. We raffle out the game choice. Uh, if you are interested, you can enter with Exclamation Point Jukebox. All you gotta be doing is be following and enter the keyword here. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is having a wonderful night. I am full of chicken. You eat more chicken? Yes, I told you I was hungry. Why are you judging me? Seriously, Dalton, we gotta get some Iron Giant matches going. Like, ooh. Iron Giant just fucking destroys everything. Double R, yo, what's up? Anyone getting here, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Be nice. I am. It's not that I said chicken is bad, it's Blue Ocean, we literally just got chicken. No. That, that's why the title of the stream is full of no. chicken. We just had chicken though, I was like, really? Yeah, you'll you'll get there. You just gotta really drink a lot of liquids. Hey, be sure uh, if you want to enter. Now it's time to do it. Uh, birthday stream coming. There is going to be a birthday stream on Sunday. We're gonna play some Jackbox, some Gardic. You know what's up? Hippo can get angry again at something stupid, and then he'll go, "What the fuck, sir?" No, Retro Revelations, we actually just did that. I I just had to have a chat with the, the chat, and I was like, hey, listen. I absolutely fucking hate Digimon, and unless you want to see me complain for a half hour, I was like, please, no more Digimon. Literally, cannot stand Digimon. Everything about every Digimon game I've ever played has made me really hate this series. You can do it again? No. That That is me asking very nicely. Unless you want to see me complain for a half hour, it's not fun for everyone, please, ask for something else. It's, it's just not for me, I, I can't get into it. But, uh, we are doing a birthday stream on Sunday. Tomorrow, I haven't exactly decided, maybe we'll do Metal Gear Solid 2, I'm kinda in the mood for that. No, I'm, I'm serious, I ain't playing Digimon. If you pick it, I'm just gonna re-roll. You wanna, you wanna, you think I'm joking, I, that's, there, that's your warning. Happy 47th birthday. Yes, that's how old I am. 47. How did you know? Did you monitor SNES Doom? Well, Traz is the only one who could pick SNES Doom. We went over this. Who will you be birthing on Sunday? Uh... Food Baby? Is that an answer? Uh, Bubba said the poll should be reset tomorrow, so don't bother voting. I know everyone's like, I, I want to do the new votes. I haven't even, I haven't had, had the chance to uh, have him reset it. I asked him for a reset button just because I mean, it's just going to be easier for me to do it. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, there's no point in voting. Don't bother. I'll, I'll probably have this poll run a little longer as a result. Only seems fair. Probably play like two games in a row or something. But I hope everyone is doing well. What is everyone up to? Eating. Eating is good.
Sorting cards for the new set. Well, I hope the card game is good. I genuinely do. I, I want to enjoy these things. I don't go into any game expecting it to be garbage. Even the absolute worst games, I try and find something nice to say. But uh, that, that could be a little hard. Yeah, I think we're going to do Metal Gear Solid 2 tomorrow. Uh, I like that game a lot. I, it'll be fun. It's very appropriate, considering what happened recently with Kojima. Unlike Sark. Wow. Yo, you didn't hear about that, Awojo? Um, you may have heard recently in the news Shinzo Abe was murdered, the Prime Minister of Japan. And, uh, essentially... Uh, they had a picture of this, the killer. Hideo Kojima maybe did it. He didn't do it. But they posted a picture of him. So, the plot of Metal Gear Solid 2 is about being lied to. I'm just, I'm just gonna give you that right now. That's the theme of the game. You're just lied to a lot. And they were like, here is the killer. Hideo Kojima, that's not the killer. And they took it down. Oops. Kojima secretly predicting the future. He made a game about this exact issue and how uh, bad it was for the political landscape. Whoops! Yeah, Arcade, I don't- I really don't want to talk about this on stream because I don't like getting political here, just... It's just really funny. Anyway, uh, let's roll the old 10 second countdown. As always, please have your game ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> See, even Dalton knew, he's like, oh shit. You know what? He's gonna say something, something D's nuts. Here's my epic joke, and then I'm gonna be like... Hmm. Waiting for him. Harvest Moon, okay. Surprising, huh. That's fine, Dalton, but uh... Why don't you harvest these nuts? Oh! You need to stop doing it, you're actually gonna fucking not- Please, seriously, don't do that. You're gonna knock this over. I'm telling you not to do that. You're gonna knock something over. Put things at me. I don't throw stuff at you. Yes, you do. No, I don't! Yes, you do. When have I ever done that? You mean every single- I'm not gonna no. say because you're- Power nuts, really. I hope there's enough for me to do in Harvest Moon because like, I don't know if there is for a half hour. I'll try and do something. I might be able to speed through it, we're gonna skip text. I, I had some trouble with Harvest Moon Super Nintendo when we did this. 
uh, forever ago where the issue was nothing happened. So... Gonna do that. No, 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 no! Why is there so much stuff? Into my dog's name, A. Alright, Harvest Moon speedrun, let's fucking go! Good old Natume! Yo, Dalton, when's the next time we can do multiverses? I'm the mayor. I have lots of questions. Will I show you around the village? No. Well, goodbye. See you later. Good. Dog. We got a dog today. Uh, we got this great dog at... Uh, it's not a real dog. It's a plush dog. Very cute. He's got a uh, crown on top of his head. We got him from the, uh, the Don Quixote. Excuse me, town. Have you seen my dog? Have you seen this dog? You have now. Plant the dog and water it. I don't think I want to do that. I do love those signs, though, that are just, have you seen my dog? I'm the mailman. Name's Harris. Nice to meet you. This Murray isn't good with dogs. Damn. Dog. Two dogs. The farm's pretty run down. You've got your work cut out, but don't get discouraged. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is just Mr. Pokelope again? You fucking bet it is. Alright, hello. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Oh, hello. Will you be staying for a while? Oh, for good? On that farm? Very impressive for such a young man. Work hard and good luck. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. How cute. They say pets resemble their owners. You guys look a lot alike. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. By the way, uh, for those of you who want to play Psychonauts before I stream it, uh, hey, Psychonauts 2, on sale. Right now. You can get it on Xbox and I think Game Pass. Cheap. It might be on sale on Steam and PS4, but I know Xbox is doing a sale. Please feel free to read here. Anything? Hello, I am the receptionist at the library. My name is Maria. Nice to meet you. My name is, but this is not important, Guanglai Kanji. Yeah. Who in face are you? Oh, you must be the son from the farm. What, the grandson? You've grown so much, I didn't recognize you. Is this your grandpa's dog? It looks just like him. No, it doesn't. No, I'm not talking about it being on Game Pass. I'm talking about it having a sale on Game Pass, probably. That's important. I don't know if that's how Game Pass works. Okay, I've never used Game Pass. I just know it is on Game Pass. There is a sale on Xbox. Aren't you the grandson of the old farmer? I'm Saibara the Artisan. I make souvenirs. Oh, good for you. What a friendly dog. Can it be a watchdog? I don't think it wears watches. Rick's open, 10 to 6 close. We weekdays, weekends and weekdays. Close. I don't know any of these stores. It's Netflix. That's fine. I'm May. What's your name? Hmm. Now we're not strangers anymore, so I guess it's okay to talk. And now you can pet my dog. Wow, it's so soft. Dogs are soft. Hi, I'm Kent. Nice to meet you. Touch my dog. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello, my name is Stu. I'm seven years old. Oh, how are you doing, fella? I don't know if he's saying that to me or the dog. That's the best part. 
I, I like my character just saying like, ah, nice to meet- Shut up, it's not you, it's the dog. How do you do, fellow gamers? So you're going to run the farm. I know it's a lot of work, good luck. Is this your dog? He's a cute one. Psychonauts 2, better than one. Hello, and welcome to our store. We have many kinds of flower and vegetable seeds. If you have any questions about vegetables, just ask my mother. Do you have anything about dogs? Cute hand, though. It is. Welcome to Flower Bud Village. Oh, you're the grandkid from the A farm. So you're going to run the farm. That means you'll be a customer. Nice to meet you. Oh, so sweet. Thanks. Come see my dog. Hi, we make our cakes using Granny's recipe. Oh, this is Dalton's favorite character, I'm pretty sure. They're great. Try some. Oh, how sweet. I'm not doing any farming. I hope you know this. I'm just gonna show the dog to everyone. Hello. It's been a long time, eh? But of course, you don't remember. Last time we met, you were just a sprout. You're a good child. Here's a reward. What? Are you giving me candy, old lady? Because, like, I, I want you to touch my dog. Nice to meet you. So you're the new owner of that farm. I'm the master of the bakery. By the way, uh, maybe Stardew's Days sometime soon we will continue it, Dalton? Hell yeah, Stardew's Day. Please drop by the shop for a rest when you're tired. Hey, is this your dog? Looks healthy. Shouldn't have a dog behind the counter, it's gonna get, like, hair everywhere. I don't really give a fuck, though. It's not my store. Dog Show 64. Yo, I'd play that. Are you watering the floor? Don't do that. Moon Mountain Vineyard. Gosh, what a terrible father. You should let me have my way. I have your new father right here, my dog. What? Don't be so selfish, Karen. What an undutiful daughter. The girl who just rushed out is Miss Karen, the master's daughter. She says she wants to leave and they always quarrel. God, the nighttime sounds are so good in this game. They're just like I remember. You don't say anything about my dog? Don't vote on that, by the way. I see the poll in the chat. Just remember, uh, it's not reset yet, so... Can't reset it. It was Tuesday. Home for me to six. Uh, is Karen at her house in the morning? I'll do it. We're gonna do a speed run. We're gonna fall in love. I'm gonna get married. Day two. You want to marry me? And I'll be like, um, yeah, she's, I mean, I'm just using my dog to get to her, like any reasonable person, any sociopath. Was this the Harvest Moon game where you can just end it by going to bed a ton? I guess, uh, I guess we can't do that. I don't know where the bar is. Green range. 
I prefer buttermilk ranch, but that's just me. Right above the church. How holy. Hmm. Looks happy. He's not here. Hello, I work at the vineyard. I already know that. It looks like the DBZ artist worked on this game. I know uh, Toriyama didn't, though. Maybe she's praying in church. No, he's not. Air style for the early games was great. I like to think that the art style for a lot of games got worse as they went on. Not necessarily art style, but just the art direction, like the music uh, in Animal Crossing and the sound effects. Uh, no game has ever compared in terms of just the perfection that is the first game. That's great. Uh, old man doesn't want to talk to me. Hello, how are you doing? You know what they say about all work and no play? It's good to have a hobby. How about fishing? Eat fishing. You're missing out a lot of fun. I'll give you this rod, so try it later when you have some free time. I will not. Let me teach you something. You can eat the fish you catch, and you can also sell them to make money. Great, huh? Yeah. You want a fish? No? Well, too bad. Throw those berries away, we don't need them. Danger, bridge is out. What if I just yeet this dog like in uh, Anchorman, where it's like, hey, did you throw that burrito at me? Did you, did you throw that burrito? Oh, nice, jelly donuts. It's, it was one of the best scenes in that movie, where it with Jack Black, and she's like, what the fuck, man? What do you love? Poetry? A taste of scotch? Uh, my dog, Baxter? Well, you like your dog, huh? Well, this is happening, and he just <laughs> fucking throws the dog off the bridge, and it's perfectly fine. Like... Notoriously tough to time. Considering I don't fish, I will never have to worry about that. Uh, where is Karen at this hour? Do I just wait here? I'm Ron Burgundy? I love scotch. Scotchy scotch scotch. Nice to meet you. Oh, it looks so healthy. Yeah, it does. That is Karen's room. She'll get mad if you enter. She's gonna get mad if I have a dog there? I'll wait here then. I'll wait here. She's gonna see my dog, whether she likes it or not. This game did not age well at all? What are you talking about? This game aged perfectly fine. I think this game aged super well. It's like I don't understand about a lot of these games. They only have one room in the house because that's the only one they want you to go to. So, you have staircases up, and it, I guess it's a staircase to multiple rooms in a hall, but it's only ever like Ness's room or his sister's room. It's never your parents' room. It's always just like, eh, you're never gonna go in there. You have no reason to go in there. This game, honestly, from what I remember, holds up really well. 
I mean, why do you think this game didn't age well? I mean, that's, that's kind of the thing with the criticism on the internet, is a lot of people don't like to give criticism when they say a game is bad or a game is good. Which is why earlier you heard me saying, like, hey, uh, I don't like this game, and let me give you reasons why I, I think it's a bad game, rather than just, Digimon sucks. I don't know, I think it's important to give valid criticism or else what you say kind of doesn't matter. I'm doesn't move, you're not, okay, I didn't remember that. Alright, guess I'll wait outside. He has to leave eventually. What if I just toss my dog like, uh, Bowser? So long, gay Bowser! Yeah, pretty sure it's CRT. Hello, I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. My family runs the Buttermilk Ranch. If you ever want to raise animals, just talk to my dad. Most games look nicer on CRT because they design the games to blend. Uh, a good example is uh, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Look at the game without the CRT filter, it looks like shit when you look at the Dracula portrait. You look at it with the CRT filter, it looks incredible. That wouldn't matter though to you unless I put a CRT filter on the game. Which, I mean that's doable, but I don't think people want that. Something I cannot stand that a lot of people do. Why is it so many people, like, doing, like, there's, like, things to smooth out your games, and it never looks good? It, it tries to, like, smooth the pixels out, it just looks terrible every time. Hey, are you the one taking over the farm? Looks like a smart dog. Hey, fella. Man, I would do a stream of Harvest Moon, but like it, w it really wouldn't have an end goal minus just getting to the end of the game, so I don't think it'd be very fun to watch. Aside from like a one and done stream. Hello, hey. Stop it. Wait, you don't like dogs? You don't like dogs? Hit my pup. The problem is the angulator, then there's nothing wrong with the game. I don't know why you'd say there's something wrong with the game then, that's not fair to say. Are you the guy they say is running the farm now? Nice to meet you. They look the same. Are they brothers? Looks like a smart dog. Hey, fella. If it doesn't work on emulator, it just doesn't work on emulator, and I know this game. You used to not. Avrak, yo, what's up? Thanks for the sub. But you're the guy who took over the old man's farm. I could tell you about extensions and mountains. All people whom animals like are nice. Correct? My dogs love me. Not because I hold cheese and meat in my pockets when I go near them. Which is correct, I do that. details that's in it. Either way, I don't think it's fair to say the game didn't age well if it's you're playing it on an emulator in, in any way. I, I don't know. I okay, get that's that's not the right way to do criticism. Because I think everything about this game plays well. Honestly, if I was gonna do a Harvest Moon stream, I think I'd rather just play Stardew and we're kind of already doing that with Dalton slowly. Stardew's day. There she is. You don't look familiar. Where are you from? Well, it doesn't matter. You'll be gone soon anyway. Fuck you. Look at my dog. Doesn't seem too clever. So I just keep doing this? Yeah, we're, we're doing uh, Harvest Moon Anarchy. How you doing? Here, let's just do this and speed it up. She doesn't seem too clever. 
You don't seem too clever. You're the one falling for my glitch. How do I know when she ranks up? Is it just the next day? What's the best color? Hi Calvin, what's up? Green. Oh my god, I love this. We're doing a glitch. Apparently pink is best, maybe red. I'm gonna make this woman fall in love with me by showing her my dog a ridiculous amount of time. Yellow. Here's my dog, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! You look at it! Getting married on day two. I showed you my dog, please respond. I love that this is a glitch at all. I find it really funny. Pink is the highest. What is your name? I'm Karen. She doesn't even know my name! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Who are you? Can I marry the dog? Sure. Who are you? Sorry, but I'm busy now. Come again later. How, how did people discover that? You surprised me. I surprise easily. Hey, working hard? Looks smart. He loves me. Hey, is this your dog? Looks healthy. So you're going to inherit that farm. Ha ha ha. Sorry for laughing. Well, good luck. I ain't farming shit. Nice night, huh? Oh, it's your dog? Perky, eh? The nice night thing just reminds me of my favorite Terminator scene. Nice night for a walk, huh? Nice night for a walk, huh? Laundry day! Nothing clean! Laundry day, nothing clean. You have to upgrade the house a few times first. Checks out. Your clothes. Give them to me now. It's such a good scene. One thing with the bar. Put the dog down. We don't need the dog anymore. Dog, you've served a great purpose. Alcohol tolerance is a legit mechanic in this game. Funny you mention that. It's a thing in most of the Yakuza games, especially Judgment, where you have to get alcohol tolerance to do certain things. I'm an alcoholic. Does the controls get awful if you get drunk? Which one is this? 64. Yeah, this went way better than Harvest Moon Super Nintendo, where there, there wasn't much to do in the half hour, so I was like, just don't pick this game again. Mostly because it was just like, I, there's really nothing to do, but here I was like, oh, I can show the dog to everyone. I can't pick up the horse?
No, I was serious about that. Please don't joke about that. I'm like, I genuinely do not want to bring down the mood of the stream, Suki. I, I don't want to joke about that. It's, I genuinely am not going to have fun with it, and you're not going to have fun, and that, that actually genuinely bothers me a lot. If uh, people really, really want to see that, and I don't know why you would. Rip. I guess all the graves go here. Can you kill anyone in this game, Dalton? Like, when do you get the kill streaks? These are like six minutes long. As long as you're outside, you mean. In DS, you can kill the entire town. That's pretty cool. How do I kill them? You just get a gun? No, I again, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I, I do not like Digimon, please. Oh, that's a slow load time for that menu. Oh, that's a hoe. I thought that was the pick. Is the pick? I think this is a site. Yeah, what? Is there not a pick? You use the hammer in this game? I don't remember. Oh, you do? That's weird. Daddy, I'll never get in trouble again. Please open. A girl is crying. Oh, who are you? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? There is a hole here! My daddy is angry, so I can't go home. Went home with the crying girl, holding her hand. Then, then... That's fucked up. I can't believe you could do that. I do love the uh, animation for you getting tired. That is pretty cool. Did you do a video on DS or did you only do one on N64? Or did you do one on just the series? I forget. I get any geodes out of these, gotta say. A little disappointed. You fight people with your farming tools, that's kind of cool. What's he doing? He's just smashing all the rocks to bits. Why is he doing that? I don't know. We don't know. Just smashing all the rocks. Hi there. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? What was that? Who, who said that? Did the rock say that? Was it Dwayne? Did I, did I happen to cause a glitch? Go to the house. Well, we're at time anyway, so yeah, let me go to the house and save. Oh. Nothing today? Okay, see you later. What? <laughs> that was scary. Does that save the game? Alright, let's move on. Alright, 
if you want to get in on the next raffle, it's gonna be dog. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Remember, we're going to be doing a birthday stream Sunday. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Oh my god, I'm getting targeted advertising on my phone because of all the dog talk about learning how to uh, train your dog. Yes, that's correct. Hopsky put it in there. I didn't even ask. He just knows I like Mario Party a lot. Have you never noticed that? Because, like, you've definitely heard this. It's the minigame music in the first game. I'm Eric from Kobe. Hi, Trolling Chuckle. What's up? Bobanowski. Checking out something. Someone sent me a One Piece thing. I'm like, ooh. Look at that art. I can't show it on stream. Spoilers. Like, ooh, wee. Apparently, that comes back uh, this week for anyone uh, who's been waiting. Wanna go on a date? No, handsome an item. Hell yeah, I do. That is how games work. Official release date is the 24th. Hi, Kirby Wolf. What's up? New Common Rider? Oh man. One day I'll catch up. Alright, let's roll the 10 second countdown. As always, please have your game ready. Helps us go a lot faster. We get more games in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Arc Nova, congratulations. Common Rider Geats. What is Geats? 
What's the theme of the show? What are they doing this time? I, I knew someone was gonna do it. I thought it was gonna be Dalton. Disappointed, Crow. Disappointed. Arc Nova, what are we playing? It's a battle royale. What? Ninja Gaiden for the Game Boy. Oof, this is gonna be crusty. Is it for the Game Boy Color or for the Game Boy? I assume it's Game Boy. Yeah, it's Game Boy. I have not played this game. It's probably maybe janky. I mean, how bad could Ninja Gaiden on the Game Boy be? Gaiden series really likes fucking with the Statue of Liberty, apparently, because they do that in Ninja Gaiden uh, Sigma 2. Shadow. This is the one where they give uh, Ninja Gaiden a gun, finally. I mean, it's really slow Ninja Gaiden, that kind of makes things easier. How's the volume on this? Imagine getting stabbed once by a sword and it's enough to slice your machine in half. Oh man, the enemies don't respawn? Yo, this is fucking easy. This might be the easiest Ninja Gaiden game I've ever played. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Yep. And not slice the missiles in half. A little disappointing, that would have been pretty cool. Oh shit, we buy on a commando. Hi, Golden, what's up? Hello. Katanas are the sharpest objects known. A man. Yeah. Folded over a thousand times. Honestly, birds won't matter in this game. The game's too slow. That's a bird. Fucking destroy it. Functions exactly like how the birds do in Ninja Gaiden. See? Bird here to fuck my day up? Doesn't matter. A, a mechanical bird? All the same? Birds are bird. Flying around? That's all it takes. Wow! The special just obliterates everything.
Am I seriously going to beat this in a half hour? Okay, mods prediction. Will I beat this in a half hour? How many stages are there? Let's find that out. Let's, let's find that out first before the prediction gets made. If that's a reasonable thing for me to beat, if I'm already on stage two. Six stages. Um, I mean, that's doable. We, can we get confirmation on that? Oh no, this might just have turned into the worst Ninja Gaiden game. Annoying sound effects when you're low on health? I don't need that. First extra chance. I mean, here's the thing a lot of people forget about Ninja Gaiden. I mean, this series is super easy. All you have to do, you just gotta guide the ninja. Once you guide the ninja, I mean, that's it. You're done. Game's over. Yeah, the music's pretty good, Gu Tang. What's up? Hi, bad check. What's up? How are you doing? Game has five stages. All right, you want to do a prediction then, chat? All right, if there is a mod around, uh, will I beat this before the half hour? This game becomes the hardest Ninja Gaiden, is what I don't know uh, by the end of it. Those are just Shredder? They are. That better be 41.3k on yes and not no. Is this fucking Master Blaster? Get him off me! Might have just shat out all my stuff, it's okay, it's all good. Oh shit, that's cool, look at that. I didn't even notice that with the first boss. Sliced in half. Oh no, I was wondering if they were gonna have this. Not quite good in this game, but uh, I mean, it's an attempt. It's not the same, but I mean, it works.
Just gonna damage tank that, it's all good. I, is this water? I can't tell. I think we're underwater? Ah, Mario 1-2, my favorite part of Ninja Gaiden. Might have first death here. If only you could do like a bonus prediction for Deathless. I don't think Deathless is gonna happen, but. Of course, Deathless, Deathless isn't gonna happen. I've never played this game. Definitely got crushed by that. The game uh, gave it to me anyway. Let's fucking go. Some guy with a gun. That count? I can't tell if I killed him. I didn't. Now that I know the ceiling is something you can grapple, wow, this fight is fucking easy. Yeah, I should have won that first try, but not a big deal. Something big is happening in New Jersey. Nothing big is happening in New Jersey. Phew! effect in the background. I still think about the time that I streamed the Ninja Gaiden 1. I, I still need to stream 2 and 3 at some point. Uh, I, I was streaming the game and someone immediately upon start said like one of the like worst things you could have ever, ever said to me during a Ninja Gaiden segment. How much of this game do you know because of John? Do you are you familiar with Ninja Gaiden? I see you've never played it. Not only that, but one, I always put blinds uh, in the title if it's a blind game. Two, I I've beaten Ninja Gaiden a lot of times before. I've beaten all three of them. <laughs> I I really fucking hate when people do that. 
Did you know that other people could play the same game as other people? You know Proto Johnny? Nah. I do know Rosa John, though. Hi, Jumny. Hello. Jumny, uh, I hope you're looking forward to a uh, birthday stream. We're gonna play some Gardic. You'll probably uh, be hyped to try some of the dumb stuff in this. Proton John. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Seizure. Seizure warning. Seizure warning. Don't like that. Do not like that one bit. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Woo. Be careful about picking stuff like this. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be seizure. It's all good though, this is a fun game and I'm sure it's just the one part. Hi Jan, what's up? Oddly suspicious when games do this. played a 2.5 inch green screen. Oh, I'm well aware! Even then, it's like, other games- I, I was just talking about this and how I hate that games did this. It's not just this game, it's just any game in general. I don't think it was ever a good thing, I didn't like it on my Game Boy when games did that. That's why the light gun game stream I had to be like, disclaimer. I'm I'm being very considerate of your eyes with the games that I pick. Does this keep going up? Yes it does! Get out of here. It's some guy! It's a cone head. Actually it's a Shinto priest, I'm pretty sure. Damn, he got some thick thighs. MC Hammer. It does kind of look like him. He doesn't seem that hard. None of the bosses, nothing in this game really stands out as hard. God damn it. Why are you doing that? It's throwing off my concentration. I can't believe you would do this! I'm trying to, try to concentrate. By the way, uh, for anyone who's curious, once again, new alert, 150 bits. I have to fix it, apparently it's in the wrong aspect ratio. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Uh, is there any games people want to see for the birthday stream? Uh, specifically between, like, any of the Jackbox games, uh, Gordic, whatever. Espionage, that doesn't work. You can't play Gespionage online. 
I love Gespionage. We're not playing that game. That, uh, I don't think it's gonna work. That, that, like, a lot of the in-person games, I feel like, really don't work. Pretty sure Gespionage is one of the ones you gotta be in-person for. You don't know Jack? We could do You Don't Know Jack. We didn't do You Don't Know Jack on the anniversary stream, oddly enough. Gespionage works online, does it? I might have never played it that much. I might be thinking of faking it. Bracketeering? I didn't like that one when I tried it. And I'm, I don't like Quiplash before anyone asks about that, because... Quiplash becomes the same thing every time of let's pander to the chat and then it just and it's fun. I don't know. I've never had a good game of Quiplash on stream. Off stream I have. It's a shame. I, I like Quiplash a lot. What's the interview one? Job job? Oh, we'll definitely do that. We'll do the t-shirt one. Uh, might do some drawful. Might do Drawful Animate, though I kind of don't really know if we need to do Drawful Animate because of Gardic. Maybe we'll do it, I haven't tried it. Whiplash is not overplayed so much as it's just... I have seen it every time anyone has ever streamed it. It is just any time there is something there that is really funny. Something is uh, pandered, and it is just not funny as a result, where it's like, the funny thing didn't win. Just a shame, because again, I, I really like the game. Job job? Yeah, we'll do job job. I already said that. Job job, uh, the drawing ones usually probably make it in. Uh, so we'll do some of Gardic, because I like Gardic. We barely got to play Gardic last time. We'll probably do some of Gardic earlier on. It's all good. It's all good. There's always new people coming in. That's why I'm always happy to answer the same question. You'll hear me answer the same question a bajillion times, and I'm happy to. It's only when I have just said the answer that it bothers me, because I'm like, I I'm trying to be nice, but I'm then I'm always like, I, I just said that. What do you mean you didn't hear it? Unless you joined a second after I clicked. Like, come on. Patently Stupid. Yeah, Patently Stupid's great. Patently Stupid, though, is better when uh, there are people around that I can have in call. I didn't go over so well last time. A lot of the people didn't really... Uh, no offense to anyone that made it in, but, like, a lot of the people were not really sure of how to do the presentation. So, I might have to make that clear next time. You're really making me lag the game out, you know that, right? You sucked at patently stupid, got too nervous. There's nothing nervous about it. It's all for fun. You just make up anything on the fly for patently stupid. That's what that game is fun about. You gotta... Yeah, the mic quality was also a thing. So, like, I might just leave that to, like, uh, people that I know. It might just be a better way to do that. That might, just, that might be more enjoyable for everyone, then. Because, uh, there's always the audience participation, which is, like, the best thing about Jackbox. Joke quote? Bam. I have heard nothing but how awful that joke quote is. Never played it? Don't want to. Uh, I don't have a Jackbox 7, that's like, the only one that I don't have. That doesn't mean get it for me, that just means is there anything good on it that's really worth playing, because... 
I, I can't really say I've... Oh, you can fall down on that, of course you can. I've not really heard anything good about Joe Quotes, or Jackbox 7. Kirby Word Party's always good. It is! The recent You Don't Know Jacks, they've only made one, and it's good. Ooh, I like the effect on you. Not seizure -y, which is a good thing. This is probably not final boss, knowing Ninja Gaiden. Really looks like uh, the boss is riding on a skateboard, doesn't it? The way they, they shoot the lightning. Radical, dude! Check out this sweet kickflip! Whoa, gnarly! Luckily, the boss seems like they only shoot uh, straight down. Look, you see this? You see the skateboard sprite? Hold on. There it is. It just kind of looks like a skateboard. It's better when uh, it's not changing colors for the lighting effect. God, this is terrible. Five trench coats. I read that as five French toasts. Thanks for the follow. Do you have five French toasts for me? I'm gonna ride out these lives and then we'll move on. I think that'll be fair. That boss doesn't seem too hard, minus the second phase. But I mean, that's the final boss. It's easier than most Ninja Gaiden shit that I get thrown. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying, Stingmood. It sucks. I, I like Quiplash, it's just, you just can't play it on stream. It is an anti-stream game, despite being made perfectly for streams. But it's kind of like I said, I'll have a really good answer and then someone else is like, Poopastinka, haha. Funny monkey. And I'm just like, man, I had a better answer. Don't be room in this game. Could always ban the audience from participating. I could ban you. That sucks! Alright, everyone. Send your energy to Game Master Anthony. He's gonna need it. 
Everyone's been getting sick lately. It, it sucks. I hope you feel better. Any energy emotes, good vibes, whatever. I get for Russian. There's not a lot to this final stage, honestly. I'd have to play perfectly going up here. It's doable. Um, I think every Ninja Gaiden is part of the main series. Ninja Gaiden has such a stupid timeline, though. Which doesn't help. Why the fuck did I do that? Oh, Ryu, you dumbass. Dumber than Kingdom Hearts. Um, let me put it this way. Both Ninja Gaiden games, well, as in, like, both Ninja Gaiden, uh, series, are part of the main series? Like, they're, they're the main timeline, so it's like the Sigma series happens, and then Ninja Gaiden happens? Like, what? How? Apparently, that's how it works. Sigma happens, then the classic series happens. It's me, I got my cool skateboard back. I don't know if that counts as a hit. I know. Hi, Elf. Don't don't ruin this. I appreciate the sub. Throw it off my concentration. This is a bad time to do that. Let's fucking go! 
actually made it so I could win. Gave me the good luck I needed, Al. Thanks for the sub. Big payout. I told you, chat, this game is really easy if you just know how to guide the ninja. Successfully guide it. Baby game. Actual baby game. Yeah, that's the easiest ninja guy that I've ever played. Oh, it's like the Mega Man ending. That was a big waste. Hey, that's not a big waste, because people have actual wastes as a point review. good it's minus that one flashy stage pretty good game that's my uh playthrough of ninja gaiden for the game boy i guess good animation smooth gameplay for a game boy game this is good i just uh kind of wish it was a little bit harder it's a little too easy for ninja gaiden Part of the fun of Ninja Gaiden is learning. Like, I don't think Ninja Gaiden on the NES is hard. Let me tell you something. Anyone who has played Ninja Gaiden and beat it can kind of tell you the secret to Ninja Gaiden is to never stop moving. Once you stop moving is when the enemies in the first Ninja Gaiden respawn. If you keep moving when you kill the enemy, they don't respawn, which makes Ninja Gaiden on the NES way easier. Oh, Immortal Knight, what's up? Thank you all for the GG's. Jet, Kirby Bolt, Al. Do it. Blue William, Seagull. Diesel, Phantom, Blue Ocean, Dragon, Arc Nova, thanks for the pick. Congrats on your points, Crow. R6. Cleared Ninja Guide game by accident. The ninja has been guided. No, that's gatekeeping, Seagull. Don't do that, because you shouldn't gatekeep people for anything. It's a Ninja Gaiden game. It's got the, the name Ninja Gaiden. This counts. You shouldn't gatekeep anything for difficulty or anything of the like. A Ninja Gaiden game is a Ninja Gaiden game. I think this is Baby's first Ninja Gaiden, and there's nothing bad about that. That's like saying Mystic Quest doesn't count. Or many other games that I feel like are really easy, like Doki Doki Panic. End. I thought that was a cowboy hat for some reason, I don't know why. Can't wait for the question mark to show up? No, it's not, it's not gonna show up. Good game, good game. Alright. If you want to get in on the next raffle, decide what we're gonna be playing for the next half hour. Uh, like I said, all you gotta do is guide the ninja. So whoever can guide the ninja successfully gets to pick the next game. You just gotta guide the ninja. Who's the best at guiding the ninja? Me, because I just beat the game. Uh, if we ever do Ninja Gaiden 3, just warning everyone now, I'm not playing the American version, fuck that. American Ninja Gaiden is uh, CBT, that stands for can't beat this. Can't beat this game. Impossible. Actually terrible game. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, American Ninja Gaiden 3, they made it a rental game, so it's way harder in America because you take double damage from everything and you have limited continues and lives. So, uh, I hate that about the game. It's actually garbage. That's some cool stuff, though. A uh, Japanese version, pretty good, I hear. Never played the Japanese version. My ninja guided. Like the North American version of Contra Hardcore. Yeah, there's a lot of games like that. Where are we supposed to guide the ninja? When the time comes, you'll know. We're in technically all games rental games. No! Let me tell you why, Elf. This is important. So, I guess you didn't grow up back then? 
The difference is a rental game was a game that was designed for you to want to not be able to beat. If you're the developers, that is. You don't want people to beat this game. You want people to keep renting it so the rental stores get money. Or you're a rental exclusive like Hagane or Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. Basically, it just, uh, they're games that were edited for America to just be harder because rentals weren't really a thing. So, uh, those specific kinds of games are made to be intentionally harder, if that makes sense. Because we want people to keep renting the game. And obviously that doesn't really stick anymore, so... It kind of sucks. Any of those games, I really hate. You got the weekend to play it and you return it. Yeah, essentially. Agani was not an exclusive, just distributed really badly. Really? I mean, it may as well have just been Blockbuster exclusive. BRB if I could pick Spy Muppets licensed to croak. Wow. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I remember when I tried to play the PC port of that on stream, and then realized before I streamed it, this is the exact same game, nothing is different. Isn't a GBA? Yes, but there was a PC version of it as well, so I assumed it was different. But the word I just got here. What word indeed? It's Guy. Good to see you, Reers. We just beat Ninja Gaiden on the Game Boy. No, GBA is! I, I'm bringing it up uh, because I just wanted to try the PC version. I was like, wait, there's a PC version? And then it was the exact same game, nothing was different. So I was just like, oh, that sucks. There, it's just... The exact same game. They put it on PC? Yeah, it's just the exact same game. It's weird.
Plus made GBA to PS1. How you doing, Mike? Called into work, so remove me from the drawing. All right, thank you for that. Actually, nice of you to say that. I mean, if you really wanted, I, I could have just, uh, I could have just added and like wrote down your game. But if you insist. Hope it's nothing serious? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway. Uh, let's roll this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Orion, congratulations. Notice how I didn't rig this. Like Ooseworm, who uh, mysteriously doesn't show me anything. Fuck that guy. Hate him. Don't clip this. Don't send it to him. What the fuck? He's gonna raid and just be like, ah, I heard about what you said. Super Mario World. Super Mario. Super Mario. probably beat it in 30 minutes maybe I might try and like tackle some of the achievements for it I don't know we'll, we'll see what we do maybe I'll do like coin run we'll just look for coins play it with reverse controls I bet you won't Okay, I won't. You bet I won't? Alright, I, I won't. I was thinking about playing this reverse controls, but you said otherwise. What if I secretly was streaming the version of this game that was remade from memory? And I just never told you. And this, this was just a big prank. Bullshit. I, I, I'm telling you the truth. You know? Would you? I beat that. That that version sucks. Game yeah, we're gonna go for coins. Let's 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 try and get dragon coins. I think that'll make a fun half hour. This is the Super Nintendo version. It's not crusty and it doesn't look washed out like the GBA version. That's how you can tell. Lucky. Mario also shuts up in this version. He did it. You like the Luigi change, but Mario All Star World has that. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that version, personally. But is Super Mario All-Stars and... Uh, no. No, it's not. Yeah, sadly we can't vote on the poll, by the way. Uh, it's not active yet. It will be active tomorrow. Uh, was not able to reset it, so uh, don't bother voting. I'm gonna do a little bit longer 
on the, uh, the poll just as a result. Ah, damn it, I tried to get zero. Yeah, Mario 3 Advance is really good. I like the Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island port, because it has extra levels. Link to the Past was... Not good? Alright, you can't go back in there. No yumps, not today. We're not yumping. No, 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 the GBA version, Suki. I... I don't think it was very good. I don't remember it being good. Oh, that is what you're saying. Um... Yeah... I don't know. Whose room doesn't like Link to the Past? I don't like Link to the Past, personally. I think, uh... I, I mean, the game is fine. I don't hate it. It's just more of a... I think it's okay. I don't think it's... As good as everyone says. I kind of think it's it's a little bit overrated. I think it's more overrated than Ocarina of Time. That's just me, though. Who cares about my opinion? There was something about the GBA version, I think it was the sound effects, and like, it was also kind of washed out from what I remember. Let's try and go for zero! Ew. Link Between Worlds is just way better and I can't go back. Agreed. I can't stream that game, I don't have a copy, unless Lonely does. If she has a copy, I can play it. Uh, unfortunately, Dalton, my 3DS that has the game it came with the uh, the game because it was the uh, Link Between Worlds port. The Link Between Worlds port actually, well, well, not not port, but like that 3DS. It was a special, so by getting that, it's installed on the 3DS. It's not my capture 3DS. It's impossible to get zero. Do you get one? Let's get one then. I think it's more impressive to get one than it is to top. I never really cared for the flagpole. The minigame is not even good. You just do the roulettes. Most people were not super into Link Between Worlds, I think, because I don't really hear much about it. I don't know! I just thought it was better. The only thing I didn't like about Link Between Worlds is it was pretty easy to go into a soft lock. But they fixed that, I think? Did they? Okay, I hope they did. That's a game I have to do a stream of at some point and get my thoughts uh, straight. Check this out. Game it! You've never seen Totally Rad? No, I played Totally Rad. Great Zelda nobody played. Yeah, I like Minish Cap a lot. There's some terrible parts of Minish Cap, don't get me wrong. Uh, Kinstone fusing is really cool, but also tedious and grindy, which makes it not fun. Eh. I don't know if I agree with that, where like the renting is bad, because I mean, it, let, me, let me put it this way. Here's the thing of 
Link Between Worlds that I don't get. A lot of the people who say they hate that about Link Between Worlds, which is a lot of people don't like the renting. Isn't the point of Link to the Past that people liked, even though it's it's really not that true, is, um, hey, I really like the freedom this game gave me because it let you do this thing in this order and then it never actually really did. It was You still have to do them in this certain order and it's like only like one or two dungeons you get the choice of. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. But like, people like Link to the Past because apparently you can do that. I think you have that backwards. No, people were always like... There we go, one. I hear a lot of people are like, oh, I love Link to the Past because you can go anywhere. No, I'm, I'm talking about Link to the Past, Dalton. Yeah, Link to the Past, I hear so many people say that, that it's like, I like that you could just go anywhere, and I'm like, I don't agree with that, that you, it, like, you need to do most of them in order, and then it's like two or three of them. Then you get to, uh, you get to a better game, Link's Between Worlds, and it actually does that. Because you still need to do certain things in certain ways. Yes, thank you, Gundam. That, that's exactly what I was getting at. It's not as free as it is unless you're playing the rando. The illusion of choice. Exactly. People think illusion is real, and it's not. And I think that kind of hurts my opinion of the game, that it's not really, but I get why people like it, it's just not for me. There are things that are great about the game, don't get me wrong. The movement is good. I don't like a lot of the dungeon designs. I think they're terrible. I hear a lot of people complain that play the rando and say, uh, you know, I hate this dungeon, I hate this part of the game, blah, blah, blah. I, I hear that so many times and I always wonder, why are you playing the game then? But uh, Link Between Worlds does everything I feel like Link to the Past wanted to do. And the openness is why the rental was there. Like, I don't know, people complain about that who like that game. I don't fucking get it. It's, I, I want to understand what people don't like, but I don't know. Maybe people play too much rando. Maybe. You know what? You might be right about that. I don't want to say yes or no, but that's definitely a factor. Complain, complain about games all the time, still play them. That's not my point, Alf. I think you're you're missing what I'm saying. I'm saying that a lot of people say like this is one of their favorite games, but then they're always like, I dread doing this part of the game, and it's like for like ten different parts usually, other than like, oh, this game is perfect. You know, I love this game. I can't say anything bad about it. The game is that good. I just don't hear that. But Link Between Worlds, it's Chef's Kiss. I mean, really, Ooh, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia! I mean, like, who boy? That's a spicy meatball. Damn. Damn. Could it have been that you were just given the items you normally have to do? Maybe? Two out of five is pretty good. That's almost half. I just feel like Link to the Past is alright, and it, there are just people who play like nothing but that, and that's fine, but I don't know. You know me, I can't play the same game over and over again. I would go crazy. to do that. Book 
here and get this coin. Coin percent! Why Moldorm? I don't know. I don't think Moldorm is bad in Link to the Past. It's really easy once you know the trick. But I guess knowing the trick is kind of the thing. It's like, how would you know the trick if you've never played it? And, yeah. I do like Moldorm's appearance on Link Between Worlds. He's a burger with lettuce and sesame seeds. Pretty good design. Perfect character design, one may say. Moldorm shouldn't be one of the first three bosses. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Especially, I think that the difference here is that I think is also really important. A Link Between Worlds was not made for new players necessarily. I think it was made for returning players who really wanted a new uh, Link to the Past game. That's just me. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Nintendo's always looking for the new uh, people to get into their games, of course. But I feel like that game was kind of made in mind for the people who really wanted that. Bug snacks? Oh, I do love bug snacks. Kind of bug and kind of snakes. Sword King is easier than Moldrum. I don't know if I agree with that. Yo, Lethal, what's up? Good to see you. Missed a lot of coins. Oof. Replay that one. Welcome to Community Night. Play a half hour of a game. Basically, uh, we raffled the choice out every half hour. So we're playing this for one half hour. I hate Salt Moldorm so much, I would use Death Mountain Descent to get the cape early. That's fair. I think Moldorm is really bad for beginners, but like, again, once you, once you know the strategies, he's really not that bad. There's no ring up. I mean, if that was the logic behind any boss, I feel like if you were going to put a ring out there, because you could do that in like, Animizer or Rando, which, you know, again, isn't canon, but like, kind of feel like, from a design standpoint, I I don't know if that's really necessarily good difficulty, if it's just going to bounce you off. It's more annoying than it is hard, is what I would say there. But you just kind of charge the sword and that's it. It's really easy. I don't know, I think Helmosaur is more likely to kill you. You're going to die to Helmosaur, you're not going to die to Moldorm. And honestly, from what I remember, Moldorm was easier in Link Between Worlds. Although there's also a second Moldorm in that game, I think that one was actually harder. I don't know. I don't think it's very hard, but that's just me. What do I know? You died to Moldor. That, see, that's weird because like Moldorm knocks you out is the thing. So I don't feel like you're likely to die to Moldorm. Because you could pick up hearts on the way back. Which is kind of the thing about how that boss is kind of decently designed.
Moldurum kills you IRL by wasting time. That's called Quick Leak. And that's a Final Fantasy V strat. But yeah, no, my point was, uh, Link to the Past is a game that I feel like the illusion of choice is why people like it, and then when they're actually given the choice, they're like, what the hell, this isn't what I wanted. And, you know, Link Between Worlds is just really good, and I don't know, I don't really get the complaining for that. It lets you do things in order. The way they did it is a little weird, but it works. I'm not gonna argue with that. I think it works. That's all that matters. Dream one day. Bow and arrow is surprisingly effective in Link to the Past. There's nothing up there. Kick, 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 kick. Damn rip man fish. I hate these fish so much. Fish were the bane of my existence as a child. Not because of this game, but because of ROM hacks. These fish would always get in my way and ruin my day. actually not trying to press anything. Uh, here's the thing, you swim differently, it's a little bit better with the P-switch. So. Don't worry, you're still probably a resource hoarder. You probably, just like everyone else here, me included, Really like hoarding your elixirs and then, you know, never using them until the final boss where you forget to use them. Calling everyone out on that, including myself. Nobody is free from that. What if you need it for post-game content? Excellent question. I know you're not going to use it anyway. Nice try. Moving on. I will not be using elixirs in Live Alive whenever I decide to stream that. And everyone's like, wait a minute. You're not going to do that? And I'll be like, no. Not once, not ever. I do like to hoard everything. Nobody likes or does the post game in Square or any games anyway? I don't agree with that, it depends on the game. It really, really depends. I really like the Dragon Quest XI. It's not even really a post game, it's just the third act of the game, but I don't know, I really like that. Me, who's played the game a thousand times. You know, boss might have another form. I just haven't seen it. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla, bing, bang. Yeah, the Dragon Quest XI post game is what every RPG should be. Don't be Dragon Quest X, or not Dragon Quest X now, Final Fantasy X. Where uh, the post-game is nothing but grinding and tedium, and then the bosses one-hit kill you with cheapness. But also it's okay, because you could just pay to win with your Jimbo, if you're lucky. Really, just mod this game to just change the ooh ooh ah ting tang wall bing bang version to be the version of this that plays. Which doctor says you need a mushroom? There's my mushroom.
Are you fucking kidding me? A five out of five? Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. That is impressive. And now let's die on purpose. <laughs> I actually wanted to do that. Okay, let's actually go. Now is that not an achievement? Because luck-based achievements aren't fun. Ever. Nobody wants luck-based achievements. Because then it just becomes tedium. Do you know how many coin flips you basically have to win to do that? Well, it's not really coin flips, but you know what I mean. Gamer moment of the year, maybe? Luckiest man alive. No, I, I don't agree with that either. Harmony of Dissonance is a really easy game. It's so easy to learn those bosses and do them no hit. They're very slow, those bosses, compared to a lot of the other games. And, like, it, it's just a complete joke fighting the bosses in Harmony of Dissonance. They're just... really lazy. You don't need to save all those healing items. They're, they're super easy to just learn. It is probably the easiest game to not get hurt on any of the bosses. Out of the Castlevania games, at least. That is if you do achievement hunting like I do. I have mastered the set for that one, and out of the Castlevania games I've done that, definitely one of the easier ones. They like a truck? They do it like a truck, but they're super easy to avoid, so if you get hit by a very slow-moving vehicle, that's your fault. I kind of feel like... If, it, if it's a slow-moving vehicle and you want to sit there like Austin Powers, that's kind of your fault for not getting out of the way and just going, No! Though that scene is pretty funny to watch. Hi, Al. Doop world. Oh, that asshole jumped. Your friend has been hit by a parked- What? How? Explain. How did you get hit by a parked car? Dracula's corpse where you use both the laser and claw at the same time. It's still reasonable to avoid. Now, even by then, that's the final boss. If you're not using healing items in that game, because the bosses are that easy normally, it's not a big deal. And it's a game where you can grind if it's that difficult. You can just go get levels. I, I don't agree with that at all. I don't know. It's not a very good example. I remember uh, Circle of the Moon. You did need to hoard a lot of stuff in that one, I'll give you that. Especially the dragon fight at the start of the game is harder than anything else in that game, I would say. I mean, this might just be me saying this because I'm a gamer, but... Uh, I have done some crazy bullshit in Symphony of the Night. Which is a different game, but like... Oh boy. Some of the bullshit, no damage stuff in that game... Fucking... Bonkers that I've done. Remember Gallimoth, the guy that's optional to fight? I did that as Richter with no healing items. Uh, well, you can't really use healing items as him, but... Uh, no... None of those, uh, item crashes that he gets. No heart usage, just, you know, pure dodging skill, just sitting there for like five minutes. Walked into a parked car after getting knee surgery, and due to where he hit it, he fell to the ground. I still think that's his fault, but, you know. What? What is the hitbox on this? Yeah, I don't like the, the minigame in this I was saying earlier. I don't think it's it's a good mini game. Do not secret house. Did that not work? No, it doesn't. Okay. Trying to see if that, that that was like a hack thing that I learned years ago that you could just like pick that up and spin, but you cannot. 
You know what's a great game though that we should play? Uh, there's this great Mario game that exists. It's called Logan's Kart Racing. Logan is, uh, he's one of the newer brothers. I actually never streamed the Logan Kart. I feel like that's something I probably would have streamed. Did I ever complete Ligma Secret 1 in this game? Who the hell is Steve Mario? Yeah, it's the Mario Brothers implying that there is more than one. Like, I feel like, uh, you know, it never really says there's just two of them. Pretty sure there's more than them. We just don't know about them because Nintendo doesn't want to talk about them. Wario and Waluigi, not brothers. They're not even related, they're just some guys. Even Wario and Waluigi aren't related to each other. They're just... I, I wouldn't even use the word friend to describe them. Waluigi could be like, I don't know, Mario's fucking landlord or something? <laughs> and his partners, they, they just got paired together and they've, they've just... Waluigi's just never left Wario alone. He's like, please go away, I'm sick of dealing with you. Yeah, when are you going to commit all the crimes, Wario? I, I don't commit crimes, all I do is play tennis, but I have seen what you do on the, the weekends. Aren't you always committing crimes? Stealing money from people? Didn't you steal Mario's castle at one point? I have no clue what you're talking about. I, I don't think you would be able to say no. Oh, we're just getting constantly upset that he just cannot tag along his cool new friend. Who, I mean, Wario just has no interest anyway. You think Wario's a scam artist? Like, uh, Wario's like, ah! Don't you remember? I'm your long lost brother on the family tree. Uh, you remember, uh, you remember your father, right? Your fa- uh, your- well, not- not your father, but like, uh, your grandfather's father. Uh, his name was, uh... Jambo. Jambo. I don't know a Jambo. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we go way back. My, uh, you know, she knows my, uh, my, uh, my great grandmother, uh, Wanda. Wanda? It sounds a little suspicious. No, 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 they're the Mario Brothers. That's their last name. We were on time with that. I'm pretty sure Waluigi's just like, please, just let me be, let me be part of your cool gang, Wario. Wario doesn't even have a gang, it's just one man gang. Alright, let's move on. Once again, welcome. If you want to get in on the raffle to decide what we're going to be playing next, it's going to be... Ah! You can type in exclamation point juke box if you don't know what you could pick. Any of those games are cool. Retro games only. 
Uh, schedule for this week. Tomorrow we're gonna start Metal Gear Solid 2. I think it's a very appropriate game to stream right now. Alright, take it easy, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Probably gonna be doing that on Tuesday as well. Uh, Sunday, going to be the birthday stream. We're gonna be doing some Jackbox and some Gardic. I don't know the order. We will try, we'll hang out, we'll play games, we'll have some fun, we'll chat. But I hope everyone is doing well. How are you all? Good news, by the way, with GTA, they're actually updating the fucking game. A step forward to defeat hackers, maybe? Uh, you can now do everything in a private lobby because they said fuck hackers. So, a uh, huge W for all the people who want to play GTA like me on stream. Because that was fun. Except for the part with the hackers. Am I sure Metal Gear Solid 2 is a good choice? Uh, yes, it's my stream. <laughs> yes, of course it is. I love Metal Gear. I've wanted to stream this for a while. I was gonna stream it on April 30th. But, uh, I got busy that day. It happened after. The update is happening on the 26th. They, they just announced it today that it was, uh... They're updating it and changing a bunch of stuff. That stream was horrible. The stream wasn't horrible, Al. Don't say that. It's not our fault that the stream was bad. You make it sound like that. Don't do not do that. The stream was not bad. It was just that one person had to ruin it. No, that was a load of shit, G-Volt. Because if that were true, they would have been doing that every day since that I've been secretly playing GTA uh, in my free time. They haven't done that. There is so much misinformation and people just assume these things are happening. They're not. That's not a thing. That has never been a thing. That moment was. Yeah, that's that's a that's a way to put it. But uh, honestly, we had a lot of fun, minus the hacking in that stream. I think it was a great stream. There were some dumb moments. Maybe we'll try it again with the update. Uh, no. I can tell you that right now. The answer is going to be no. I don't think he wants to try that. But uh, hey, things are being done. So that's cool. Maybe one day I'll stream it. We've actually secretly been looking into ways to do a private lobby where no one can join. Because uh, it turns out, pretty easy to do that if you know how to code. Yeah, no, it was going really well. I enjoyed the races, I enjoyed a lot of the other dumb stuff we were doing. It was just meant to be a fuck around stream. But hey, if it's getting updates and they're actually going to address hackers, good. They haven't said they're doing anything about hacking in general, but it's more of a, hey, now everything that you needed to do in a public lobby can be done in private because the hackers are gross. You be hopeful. No, I'm gonna be hopeful too. This seems like a good step in the right direction. It's like TF2, it's getting like that level of, if you wanna play the game, you really gotta be careful of all the bots and people hacking. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like, I don't know, there's not much else to say other than that. It was just, it was fun, it was a good chill time. And we had a lot of stuff planned. We didn't get to do, like, heists. Which TF2? What do you, what do you mean, which TF2? The, the T Team Fortress 2. The game was kind of ruined by bots. I mean, it's slightly getting better and better. You don't play much because of hackers. Yeah, the good thing is, Brawler, um, you could play in a closed friend lobby starting on the 26th. Toxic X- No, that's what I'm saying, Gundam. You're not listening. The starting on the 26th, you could just do everything in a private lobby, and uh, you never have to go in a public lobby ever again. You could just do messing around with friends, and it makes the game way, way smoother and more enjoyable. 
Oh, Titanfall 2 as well? Yeah, you know, I didn't consider that. I've heard Titanfall 2, they can't do anything though. The devs can't touch the game anymore. No, they're, they're definitely doing things. I'm, I'm in the same boat where it sucks that they kind of delisted some stuff. They've done some shady stuff like the shark cards and uh, some other dumb stuff. But honestly, GTA, I bought it for like $20 this year because I didn't own the game. I only ever borrowed it on the 360. Actually, it wasn't even 20. It was like $13 for me to buy the game and I got everything. And then, uh, you know, now they're just making it, hey, fuck all the hackers. We're going to do something about it. So respect. You got to give credit where credit is due. Hopefully, it'll actually be closed and not just joinable by actual hackers. Here's the thing. Hackers can't join your game unless they know what to look for. They're not going to look for your name, ever. Unless they you're streaming it, which is how they got in. Imagine being someone waiting. They kind of did that recently, uh, the last update, apparently. Sort of. If you're curious, though, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me roll this too. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reflexor, congrats. Uh, while you get that, I am going to read this out. This page is not working. Oh, it's got to load. Time has come at last. See, everyone wins eventually. No matter what, all business activities, including cell missions, will now be available to play in private. As part of the Criminal Enterprise update, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, pretty much everything can now be done in a private lobby to address hackers. And then we're gonna, they're, they're gonna work on it. You haven't won in a while? That's a shame. Yeah, but again, they can only, they're only getting in if they have your name. It's, and even though they haven't done that, it's, they're not on stream, they're not going to do that. Ready to rumble boxing round two. Okay, interesting choice. I think I played this on stream at one point. I think I played a different version of it. I want to say I, I did. I think I played it with Dalton. We played each other. I don't know. A lot of people like to just constantly shit on games and companies, but I, I at least think it's fair to say if a company is doing something about their game, like Valve with TF2 or GTA with this, that's a good thing. I think I think it's a sign that companies are starting to turn around and listen. Gotta have a little bit of faith in them. Yeah, no, I, I really haven't had a single experience with a hacker outside of the stream. I guess that's the important thing. Oh, Midway, how much I miss you. Uh, do you have a character reflexor you want me to use? We got Afro, Thunder, Celine Strike. Let me go through them all first. Boris, Nakimon, or Nakamov, 
looks like an N, it's hard to tell with the font. Butcher Brown. Oh, God, he's got a weird head. Raging Rivera. Mama Tua. Joey T. Jet Iron Chin. Big Willie Johnson. I have a feeling you want me to play as him. Johnny Blow. Johnny Blood? I think it's Johnny Blood. JR Flurry. Mr. JR? He's not even here. Lulu Valentine? Nick Whoever. We gotta pick Big Dick Johnson. Big Dick Johnson. Yeah, I think I, I might have played the Dreamcast version or something. I swear I played this. Because, like, the ultimate fighter in this game is the announcer, and then he's, like, the, the boss. Yeah, and then he rips off his shirt and he's fucking jacked. We, we played this on stream. Let's get ready to rumble! From Chester, England, wearing the dark gray tights with the red sash. And weighing in at 175 pounds, the blast from the past. Oh, it was the Dreamcast version. That's not even a Dreamcast exclusive. Why did I play that? Whatever. It was fun. Johnson. Ha. I could beat you blindfolded. From New York City, wearing the green denim trunks with the white fur trim. And weighing in at 121 pounds, the Funkadelic Boogie Bro Afro. Yeah, Rumble Man, and he looks it's fucking hilarious. If I can't show that off in the half hour, I'll put in a cheat code. I did. Yes, yeah, KT. I love the AK yes again. We're playing as Big Dick Johnson. This is like if you made boxing eight with the super meter. It's it's a pretty neat game. Will I play games that have never released but dumped online? Um, yeah, I, I've done that many times on stream. Have you never seen any of my streams of that? I've died. There, are, there are plenty of streams I've done like that. I, I talk about the Glover Two beta a lot that we streamed. Oh, he did. Uh, no, I'll show it off on stream. There's the code to do it. You broke his nose with that one. Punch him again? What if I kick him? Now you may say kicking is banned in boxing. I say I've played punch out. That don't matter in video games. Did you just punch me in the nuts? Stop punching me in the nuts! Stop! This might not be my character. I might not. I'm, this might not be my main. You know. But this game does, in fact, rule. The rules in boxing have never mattered in video games. Continue. Nah. No point in continuing at the start. You never do that in any game. You need to play as Shaq? 
What's, what are the cheat codes in this game? You want me to play a Shaq? G give me the cheat code right now. We'll play a Shaq. I'm pretty sure he's in this game. I think... Was Hillary Clinton in this game? I want to say she was. Yeah, they they're both are. G give me the cheats. Yeah, all I need is unlock everything. Got real silicon graphics. Girls Matter in Power Punch 2. Do you mean Power Punch 2, the sequel to the game that doesn't exist? No Power Punch 1? I, I know the story behind that. It's, it's just funny that it's like, Power Punch 2, the game was so good it got a sequel. No, it didn't. Left, right, left, left, right, up, down, one, two, three, four, five. That didn't work. Hold on. I think I see why. Left, right, left, left, right, up, down, one, two, three, four, five. You might have to put it in fast. One player. Select your boxer. Yeah, it doesn't want to work. Maybe you can't do that in arcade mode? This is the PS2 cheat, why are they different? I don't know. It weird that this is on both versions. It's not a thing you used to see back then, usually. Usually, there's a couple times like that. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't work. Try it again, one more time. That's right, left, left, right, up, down, one, two, three, four, five, nine. yeah, see? man with the weirdly shaped head. Well, I guess that's not a cheat. A cheat. Man's head looks more normal with the 3D model. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, I'm doing so much worse as this character. The man with the gorilla shaped head. I hope he punches like a gorilla, that's a good thing. This is PS1. Oh, they, they did change it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is, there isn't the duality of chat. Headbutts are not a chat allowed. That doesn't matter. Yeah, arcade boxing. Left, left, right, R2, left, right, right. No, that doesn't work either. See? Doesn't work. It doesn't work. There are no cheats for this game. Oh, hi, hi Michael Jackson. There he is.
age 25? I don't think he was age 25 at that point, was he? When this came out, I don't think he was 25. That's so weird. Wearing the black spandex shorts with the magenta and white Hawaii Try the Konami code. And weighing in at a mighty 400 pounds. No, I don't think it's a big deal. It's. I mean, I can just load up the Dreamcast version if you really want, but. Hey, I only do this for the exercise, huh? Ouch! That is some jiggle. Who is this mysterious man? This is late in his career because he's white. You can't win. The title's mine. I don't think that was Michael Jackson. That didn't sound like him. I can't lose my groove. It's hard to tell with the crust on the voice. I'm just having like some trouble with this. He didn't voice himself. Two, three, four, five. They deepened Shaq's voice. Wait for for Shaq or MJ. Here, you know what? Let me let me try the the, the Dreamcast version. Cause, Cause I wanna I wanna show off these characters. We're, do, we're doing the Dreamcast version. It's it's not like it matters. It's the same fucking game. All right, uh, what's the cheat? No game file where we're going. Okay, wait, let's let's try the cheat code now. Select your boxer. Is that his hair? I still can't tell. God, the nipple on her bra. Ooh. got like well it's something showing too. Constantine, yo what's up? Are you ready to rumble? So like your boxer. Right, left, left, right, up, down. Right, 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 right. Hold on. I pressed the wrong button there. I know it works. I've done it. Left, right, left, left, right. Are just none of the cheats working? Select your boxer. Maybe it doesn't work in arcade mode. But how are you doing though? Uh, welcome. How was Among Us? We're trying to figure out why this doesn't want to work. I think we're just gonna play the game. Yeah, old cheat codes sometimes don't get documented too well. Let's just, let's just play the game. We've already wasted a lot of time on this one. Bro, 
Robox Resex. Oh no, re 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 Reese 4. Hi, uh, dudes. And gentlemen, boys and I could not have imagined everyone raiding from Among Us like they do every week. From Papatoto, New Zealand. Wearing the brown trunks with the hunter grain trim. And weighing in at 231 pounds. How did the rest of Johnny Chill Among Us Day go? Blood. Oh, man. I hope you got insurance. Welcome, Raiders. Do you have insurance? Can't wait for you to play more Elder Scrolls Online. Chicago, Illinois. Wearing no trunks and weighing in at a sturdy 150 pounds, the automatic puncho matic Robox Respawn! Robox Rejects! The odds of everything made are 1,349 to 1. Okay, that's pretty good. You aim for the, the face on them. Aiming already feels better on this one. I don't know if I'd say technologically better, it was kind of a failure uh, when it comes to the fact that it was so easy to wear it. Never seen boxing, MC. One, two, three. It's a really cool four, game. I, five, I just wish six, you know. Seven, eight, nine. Wait, uh, work a little bit. Whoa, shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! This is why I love this game. Was this on arcade machines? Because I don't think I ever saw one. That's because he's a robot. I went in the ring with a uh, bot. Select your boxer. Ever. From Zagreb, Croatia. Real Soviet Where bear, here he is. With the white trim. And weighing in at 218 pounds, the invincible Boris the Bear Nakama. This can't be all you got. <laughs> I'm like steel from Chester, England, wearing the dark. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it, it feels more responsive to this game on the Dreamcast. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's working. You got a winning strat. Oh, there's no little Mac in this game like Fight Night. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Uh, what was the rumble button? My training is superior. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Like, I definitely did it in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that damn robot again. Oh god, Two, the rope. Three, four. It's both blocks. Uh, which one? Dirt and cobblestone? Uh, use worm. Which one is uh, the block that I have to use? You're a Minecraft expert. Did you should know this. This is round two. You go with brick. From. Troll alone Three, on me. Four, Yo, Regulus, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate five, it. Six, seven. They are fighting. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait, why am I 12th place? Didn't I, did I win the last fight? Yeah, this is my main character. My training is superior. Hit the rumble button. I can't! I turned the rumble off my controller, MC! What am I gonna do? Freedom Brock. Freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh my god, Boulder, Colorado. That's Uzwerb. It's you. Let's get ready to rumble. I don't actually know if you live in Boulder, but uh, you do now. From Zagreb, Croatia. From Boulder, Colorado. With the military green jacket and weighing in at 129 pounds. The Peacemaker, Freedom Oh, you're only here to make Brock. peace. Oh, man, I don't want to fight. You get it? He's here to fight. <laughs> Ooze, why do you look like you've been through Nam and back? You also look very drunk. I'm gonna give this game a little bit extra time because uh, we we had some issues at the start, and now that the game uh, is 
honestly, it plays way better, as you can see. Uzor, I, I gotta say, it's pretty fucked Four, up fighting you. Five, six. Fight me, IRL, dude. Well, I was gonna use the rumble, but it didn't want to. I am so strong. Capra actually would make a cameo as a playable wrestler in TNA Impact since that was also developed by Midway. Was it as dumb? Freaky deaky. Oh, he's Canadian. He's only 19 years old. Lady. From from Toronto, Canada, and weighing in at 128 pounds, the hyper guy. Really, that's actually kind of surprising. D. Yeah, that, it's really them. Where's my rumble meter? Aaron Ryan, but worse. No. That stands for Fire Emblem Deke. Canadians are like this? Yes. Four. Canadians are known for their love of boxing. Didn't you know this? They also love wearing swim goggles. I mean, this Canadian boxer is ridiculous. He's, he's not even a lumberjack. He doesn't hug bears. Honestly, Bear Hugger would beat me right now. My guy is a bear. This guy's just really fast. Hockey. Is this guy, uh, does he look like a Toronto Maple Leafs fan? Like the only thing I, I know about Toronto. No, the ref voice is getting deeper. It's working. Blocks? Cause I'm, I'm doing it. It's not working. You lose. Weird. When his game pack's ever been right, though, as we've proven with the cheap game for this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use all our continues, mostly because we have some issues trying to get a code working that does or does not exist. One, two, three, four. 
is how most fans celebrate after every game winner. Check it out. Oh yeah, I was just saying that. He's a fire emblem. He's doing. <laughs> See me at Evo playing this. <laughs> Michael did voice himself. Sure doesn't sound like him, but I guess they pitched him. Someone was saying that earlier, but I thought that was about uh, Shaq. Punch him in the dick. Hey, it's a strat. It works. He didn't got no joke. He's gonna fight. Weird. Celine Strike. Uh, From Brasilia. Celine Brazil. just looks like a uh, Sonya Blade. Is there against Midway? Green oh God, that jiggle. And put so much jiggle in this game. That, that, that and the amount of nip they wanted to put on everyone. A little too much. The Ring Diva. Selene Strike! Ooh, I'm shaken. <laughs> Please don't be shaken. Honey, I've been waiting all night to strike. I don't like that she moans. You punch like a girl, which is a good thing. Girls are usually better at this. You might have to touch your Your opponent will give you neutral for free. Shake it, honey. One, two. Three, four. It probably was a deep left in tree. One, two, three. But if there is no neutral, plus on block. hours do you think this game dedicated to it, making sure the jokes are short? There we go, you have to press it twice. Uh, these are real human noises. The Gemini was already here. Watching. 
That kind of looks like Jerma in terms of facial structure. There he is! It's Shaq! D's nuts! Haha, <laughs> got him! Oh, dude, come on, you actually fell for it. From, from Los Angeles, California, wearing the dark gray trunks with the red and white trim, and weighing in at 315 pounds, the league MVP, Shaquille O'Neal! Why is he the MVP? Yeah, no, uh, Michael Jackson. Ready for here. some Bill serious Clinton. butt whooping. Uh, Hillary Clinton. They like putting Bill and Hillary in their games this time, anyway. <laughs> Damn, Shaq, I didn't know you had a successful career as a boxer, because I got on the game as he fast. No, Shaq was a Leo. He's a Leo too. Uh, Shaq, are we not friends? Are we not brothers? Dig my shoes? I bet you he's just wearing sneakers. I am the greatest fighter that ever lived. He does look like Jerma the more I look at him. Lulu Valentine from Seattle, Washington. Uh, ladies and from, from Seattle, Washington. Original character Wearing design. The pink top really good design. With the baby Real blue good. And pink shorts. And weighing in. It must be really cold in here. I mean, like, really cold. Pounds, the sweet, petite Lulu. I thought they were talking about boxing league. <laughs> I love that rumor. Didn't your daddy teach you not to play with dogs? What? Because uh, we took uh, a long time to figure out why this game was being weird. Uh, we're going to go until we uh, probably lose our continues. Because uh, I have a feeling we'll just get destroyed by one boxer at some point. So, Don't mind me. I do not like her. Valentine. 
Ah, Jill and Lil. Not any relation to Phil and Lil. Maybe it is. Maybe, maybe uh, this is Phil, but no. I actually don't know what Phil and Lil's last name are from the Rugrats. Probably Valentine. Yeah, apparently they brought back Rugrats a while ago, but Two, I don't know if it was any good. Three, Deville? Four! Can't catch me! I won't, because the round's over! show doesn't need CGI, uh, most things don't need CGI. Six. That being said, I hate when people complain in TV shows. Not that, not that you're doing this, but I really hate uh, a lot of people I see say anything that uses CGI and it's too many animation uh, makes it look bad. And it's a bad show. That's such a strange complaint. CGI really highlights, uh... I am so strong! A lot of stuff. I thought, uh, that would go into the next round. That was a waste. My training is superior! This looks bad? Are you kidding me? This looks great! But a lot of people, I hear, like, whine and complain that, like, oh man, this car was in CG, uh, it ruins the show. I don't know, in JoJo, some of the stands are in CG, and I kind of like it, it makes it look alien. From, Z from Corsicana, Texas! Wearing Eww. the blue denim trunks. So many cowboys showing up in video games. And at 145 pounds, the fastest jab of the West, Wild Stubby Corley. I'm the rootin', tootin', fastest jabster of the West. Yeah, it definitely does. I, I like to like see you guys do crazy things. <laughs> fastest punch in the West, eh? Selling, what's up? One, two, Watch the garbage you sky shake. They're the second most impressive CGI four. you've ever seen. W was it the crystal one? <laughs> I that's new. I, I remember some CGI crystal show and it looked really good. Cool. Not that I watched it. This guy's easier than the previous person. I am so strong! Okay, no can is the best. I don't know what HNK is actually, I just know it's Hokuto no Ken is, is that. I don't know what HNK you're talking about, but Fist of North Star is pretty great. Maseki no Kun. Never heard of it. Well, I have. The name is from I was a joke! My training is superior! Character voices are dreading me out. It's weird, because it's not loud at my end. This is me, J.R.R. Fleury, living in California. Right. From Zagreb, Croatia. Wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. Super and lovely. weighing Hold in on. at 218. From Los Angeles, California. Wearing the khaki cargo shorts with the black Remember, skin. always say if there's and an the issue with the audio, you will be the streamer's favorite person. The dude How's that? With the it did not sound loud on my end. J.R. Flurry! You think you can beat me? 
What a shame. I gotta knock you out. Yeah, I'm doing good. I think this guy might be number one, even though he's number four. What is the sound effect when he screams? <laughs> Taught there. Why would you do that? One, two, three, four. Bring it on! I am so strong. Sure is. One, two, three. Oh my god, he got crushed by the thing in the center. That's what you get, JR. Rematch with Afro Thunder. My origins, going from my new place to my old place. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from New York. Tomorrow is your one year show. Oh, congrats! You can't stop the Thunderbolt! <laughs> I bet this game is a lot of fun though with a friend. Punching him in the face. Yeah, I don't know what it is. This game just plays so much better on the Dreamcast, and like, you know, some people would say, "No, nah, he just sucks." I'm, I'm playing two different versions, and it, it plays way better. I couldn't get like any hits in with anyone. Can't believe they made a Disco Kid before Disco Kid and punched out. I've got a three-step program for you. I punch you, you fall down, and you hit the floor. Here comes! Here comes! What else does, uh, Disco Kid say? What do What? No, 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 no. Waste. You wasted that. One. Fox's eyes. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I know John's never gonna do it, but I really want to see him do title defense. Dalton, you and me can coach him through title defense if we wanted. Oh my god, Magic Pixel. Magic Pixel, we my take those. Training is superior. DK percent. I'm telling you, me and Dalton, when we played the game, we looked into this. Apparently, DK is like guaranteed to show up for the second, but like nobody can agree on anything and punch out Wii. 
from Zagreb, Croatia. Where <laughs> Fighting uh, Grunt Guru, popular New Zealand streamer. He just did his like YouTuber debut because he got uh, he gets a little uh, dysphoric and anxious about doing pain. So now, uh, because he's from New Zealand, he's a Kiwi. You can only do uh, three, but like I'm pretty sure it's it's the first two. Like he'll show up on the second match. You'll lose and he should appear. And then other people say you have in, and then like you have. Yeah, good old champion mode. Really? That wasn't a double KO either? Let the onslaught begin. One, two, three, four. That hurts, because uh, he was about to get his second number. What the fuck? Oh, we see, see, nobody can fucking agree. Everyone was giving me shit during that stream John recently did that. They were like, he doesn't do that. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. My friend, my uncle who works at Nintendo told me, uh, he, you know, he shows up randomly. One, two, but that's the thing. Nobody can agree on anything in that game. I hate it. Six, seven. Should have won that. But why, why did he get up? What? You lose. It might just be completely random visible. But that's the thing. Guaranteed to happen before your third boss. That's what I'm saying why it doesn't make sense. Because, like, nobody can agree on that. Because it's just such a weird game in the sense that there's no information on it. Game with Jay Blood requests. Uh, looks like a guy would request Black Thorn on the Super Nintendo, and I'm I'm pretty against playing anything Blizzard right now for good reason. So that's a forbidden company with Activision, but luckily Activision only really, really like kind of only really publishes games. They don't really like making games usually, so I don't feel too bad with them. EK the literal cryptid. I am so strong. Let's do this. Yeah, the FFD. Yeah, it's supposed to be him knocked out. I think we could beat this. One, two, three. There we go, there we go. I am so strong. Oh, 
wait, yeah, you can't skip that. There it is, the final boss, Rumble Man from Encino, California. Ladies and gentlemen, boys. I'm not gonna skip this. This is great if you've never seen this. Let's get Who is Rumble Man? I don't know if he's in the first game, I just know he's in this game. From Zagreb, Croatia, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim and weighing in at 218 pounds, the Invincible Boris the Bear Nakama. I will crush you. And now, this boxer needs no introduction. That's because I am your next opponent. Uh, let's get ready for Rumble Man! Ah! Buffer no more. Just me, Rumble Man. It's so fucking good. Yeah, you could play as Rumble Man. I think he's the last character you want to unlock. <laughs> But, uh, as you can imagine, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's tough. He's a boss. That's why I was like, let's just go to continues. Because I have a feeling Rumble Man will kick my ass anyway. Okay, this is a thing he could really do, by the way. One, two, three, Holy shit, what is this? Rumble four. Man. The announcer for like every boxing who goes like, let's get ready to rumble. I bet when they pitched the idea to him as like him being the final boss, he was ecstatic over it. He was like, you know what? That sounds incredible. Let's get ready to rock still hear him in ads? That's good. I think you have to be cheap with him. K boss. No, it he must rent me. That's a uh, that's a syndrome. Like it's like a turtle. I don't know if I'd say that for SNK boss level here. He's not too bad. You can get a lot of hits on him pretty easy. He's pretty slow and stupid. It's just when he does that, I feel like hitting you like 30 times attack and takes off like half your health. That's, that's where I'd really say the change comes in on this one. The other thing is, uh, your light punches are pretty fast against him. Yeah, he's also not Gil. This is... I guess if you've never played fighting games, maybe this boss looks really hard to you. But, uh... I don't think this is that bad. I've, I've played a lot of fighting games in my time. I mean, no game will top the general in that one fighting game that, uh... Was way too hard. 
they had to promise that uh, it will be better in the sequel that never came out. General from Kaiser Knuckle. Fuck Kaiser Knuckle. I'm dead. Yeah, he can just like do that twice in a row. Like, look at how fucking dumb that is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not the ref. He's uh the. He's the guy who would always do the announcing. Is Michael Buffer. I mean, I've never seen him box before, so he must be pretty good at it. Let's get ready to. You lose. I think we got one more continue. Yeah. All right. After this, we'll move on. Spend more time on this, but uh, it's been fun. Do I got this MC? If he does that, I don't. I appreciate this. I only gave it more time because we had the issues at the start, where apparently the PC, the PlayStation 1 version, is just terrible. Which, I guess that probably got the least work. Let's get ready to Oh my fucking god, that attack. That's the only bad attack I think he has. He's got a lot of range, but that's not a big deal. You can dodge in this game. Dreamcast is a good arcade machine. Let's get ready to Like he's slow enough that you could dodge a lot of his attacks. Oh god, if he does that like super, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Nope. Not coming back. You lose. That was good, though. It's a really good game. If you want to get in on the next raffle... Hope everyone is doing well, having a wonderful night. Reminder, uh, hey, we're gonna do some Metal Gear Solid 2 tomorrow. Birthday stream on Sunday, we're gonna play a bunch of Jackbox, some Gardic. Ooze will uh, make me play Joke Boat. Never, uh, that's not happening. That's not happening at all. Tuesday. Oh, we have the same birthday, Rears? Really? The 24th? No. Did we just become best friends? I think we did. Fuck yeah. Well, happy birthday to us. I'll do the Juker and like two other people he knows that have the same birthday. Stream. Need the distraction? Oh no, I hope everything's all right.
Yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do that on Sunday. Tuesday, we're gonna do probably more Metal Gear. I'm guessing we're not gonna beat that in one stream if it's Metal Gear Solid 2. And we do this every Thursday. What's the day off from work? So I am not working my birthday. I had to work my birthday once, and I remember complaining about this. My manager told me to shut the fuck up. Boy, that was fun to hear. He was like, hey, say that again. Uh, that you can play like that again. He's like, you're fired. And I'm like, why? Grandpa passed away. Oh, no. Can we get some love in the chat for Tree? Really sorry to hear that. I'm gonna go stretch for a moment. I will be right back. That was a good stretch. Walked over to the fridge, did some stretches. I got me some Dango from my uh, Don Quixote today. I'm trying it now. Ooh. You don't know what that is? It's that, uh, it's that green, white, and pink treat you see in like every Japanese video game. They eat it in Monster Hunter, they do. MC, you've definitely played at least one game that has had this. It's really good. I've never had. Hey guys, it's Killer MC with another exciting dongo fact. Lundia, you may want to type that again. It's Rumble. It's kind of like a marshmallow. Only a little bit chewier. Steam Deck for your birthday. Nice. I don't think I need a Steam Deck, but I hear it's pretty cool.
Thank you. Yes. Hey, 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 I did, I did warn him. I did warn him. You got jump scared by the toaster. It is kind of scary. Toast is one of the scariest things known to mankind. Alright, I'm gonna roll the 10 second countdown now that my dango is done. Dango, dango. Don't go, dango. Dang, man, you know what? Go, go. Punch, 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 you know, you know. Dang, man. Little boom hour. I would love it if someone did a weeb king of the hill, where it's just them super into anime. And just Japanese things. I sell Miku and Miku accessories. I tell you what. It's okay, Dad. Lots of people like to read Dojin. A spin off with Hank's brother. I don't think that would be as exciting. Hawaii Desu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that could work. I tell you what, Bobby, you know? Maybe there is something about this Kawaii Desu. That VTuber ain't right? Yeah, it is Hank Hill VTubes. That's that's good Jared. Good Jared is a Hank Hill VTuber. He's a legend. You should go follow him. That's the good Jared. People know him as the Hank Hill VTuber, but honestly, he's so much better than that. Please follow him. Anyway. Let's roll, roll the old uh, 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trolling Shuckle, congrats. By the way, uh, you know what I'm doing for my birthday before the stream? Uh, me and Edo, who we hung out today, she was like, do you wanna, you wanna hang out again in a couple days? Then go to Fogo to Chow? It just opened up. Uh, yes? Jake, I don't know if you're here, but uh, Ogo? Ogo wo? Jake loves Ogo. Ogo is good. Yes. The new one finally opened, Jake, so if you come, we can do it again. I'll be like, mmm, Fogo. They have the meats. They do. They also have cheese bread and chicken. I, I guess that's meat, but, you know. You, you can go to the salad bar at Fogo, but why would you? That's just, you know. It was, apparently it's everyone's birthday. Happy birthday to everyone. Actually rigging it by winning on your birthday. I can't believe this. Well, yeah, I can. Earth weekend? More like Earth year. You just got the sequel to. What is it? Hail Concerto. Oh, man. I did not like this game when I tried it last time. I'm gonna give it a fair shot, though. Maybe my opinion has changed. I really tried to like this game when it came up on stream, and I hated it. I tried playing this, and I was just like, this is, the flying controls were so bad. Maybe the game gets better. I'm gonna be fair. It could be better. I, I'm willing to admit, it, it might have just been the flying part was so bad that it turned me off. Furry game. It's like Furry Mega Man Legends, but... Oh boy, the, uh, the flying was just so bad. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, we got the save file. I was worried we might not.
that shouldn't matter. Uh, don't ever pick something because you think, oh, I won't like it. That's that's not how this works. This, this has never been how this works. I, the reason I didn't like this game, it looks really nice, but you have to do this like flying segment and it was just so frustrating and not fun, it kind of killed my enjoyment. But maybe, maybe the game gets better after that. This had a sequel. Um, kind of. It has like a quasi sequel, like it, it sort of is. Bad stuff? That's that's fine. If I don't like it, whatever. It, have you ever heard me say I'm just not gonna play this game because I don't want it to play it? No. I usually have a good reason if it's something I don't want to play. Like, it's made by Blizzard. So I'll just be like, I never want to play this game on stream. Eggstone. I don't know what we're doing. Story of the Eggstone is carved on this marker. Jake, why don't you stream this? The Eggstone is the most enigmatic relic ever found in Prairie. Unlike other relics, this stone wasn't burned but found as it stands today. Some historians feel that it may be a tribute to an ancient god. They say it's a tombstone, but no one knows for certain. You don't own a copy of this. Oh, what a convenience! Uh, I can give you my copy of the game to uh, rent. My totally real copy of the game, Jake. Yes. Yeah, so lots of Robo is the one I always hear about. Would you like to borrow my real copy of Furry Game, Jake? Hmm. Yes, you do. Lurk while you play Rune Factory 5. You actually want it, yes or no? What is Furry Game called? T uh, Tail Concerto. I mean, the game looks great. Yes, you could send me a copy to borrow. I, I will. I'll mail it to you. What's your address? 555 Fake Street? See, I would have happily watched Jake uh, stream this, knowing that uh, furry game. I'll do this and then jump into furry multi-world. The only bad part of this game is you play as a cop, so I mean... Well... No, no, no! You think I'm joking, uh, Yoshi Mello. Jake literally calls it Furry Multi-World when he streams. I'm, I'm not joking, that's not like a knock on him. That's actually what he calls it. He's just like, ah, time for Furry Multi-World. Furry Cop, so it's Zootopia? I suppose. gonna act like it's a legit guy. Dude, I do that literally all the time on stream. Why does that bother you now? Look, I only say it as a joke because we all all know the truth. Everything is played on real fake hardware. It's all overclocked. I have to say that, otherwise the internet will shut me down. Not, not, not like that kind of shutdown. They're gonna be like FBI, freeze. Hoarding your game collection. Play real games now. Only using physical. Can't do that. Fucking, of course I'm using emulation. Uh. Obviously, the simulation in the game is the Matrix. Uh. Typical cop running in the house, ruining everything. 
It's like every stream I make this joke though, that it's it's overclocked hardware. Super well animated? Yeah, no. There is great style here, don't get me wrong. It, the flying section was just so bad, I don't even know how to get back there. It's like I say, ACAB, all cats are bad. Do we agree, chat? Of course we do. Wow! <laughs> I knew that would ruin Jake's opinion of this game. He's like, damn. Kittens would be cute if they didn't throw bombs, right? That's that's what it is. Cats always being jerks and knocking shit off. Dan would kill you for that. Let him. What's he gonna do? Fucking come to California and kick my ass? Like my cat is great. Yeah, great at knocking stuff over. Cats are not to be trusted. Have you ever seen a good cat? The only good cat is a dog, and those aren't even cats. It's just a dog. Am I gonna stream the jerk cat game? It... Which one? There's a few. Cat lateral damage? I don't know if that's really a game for me. Have I played Stray? I think I actually su suggested it to Jake and he didn't want to play it. He said uh, it would make him a little too emotional because of uh, Hurt Cat. I mean, I kind of actually want to play Stray. I don't want to play it on stream, but it seems like a good one and done game. Like, it's a, it seems like a really short game. Like a short, good artsy game. The Ghost Trick Phantom Detective? Ghost Trick is a good game! It's like Phoenix Wright, but with ghosts. Respect felines. Boo hoo. What's the matter? Cats. The cats kidnapped my baby. See? You see how it doesn't say the dogs kidnapped my baby? The cats did, because they're, you know, they're not to be trusted. But you see, what you've really selected is cat propaganda. Is this the baby you were looking for? Waffle hands the doll. I forgot your name was Waffle in this game. Thank you, Mr. Policeman. This is for you. Photograph. Like, to even give you an idea of how the joke of overclocking even happens, like, on stream, I've genuinely, on purpose, accidentally shown off where I get my games from just to be like, oh no! I accidentally leaked it, and then never did that again on purpose. Ouch. I'm just like, well, now you know where to go. It's Vim, by the way. Go to Vim's lair. You didn't hear that from me, though. Are you the one who arrested the black cats by yourself? You don't seem that tough. Haha. Uh -huh. Why does he need that mech? He's a cop. I'll tell you what, chat. If you really want to see this game uh, finished, I, as much as I didn't like this game last time, I would be willing to beat this if anyone wanted to put this on the poll. Uh, that is something you could do if you have a sub and you haven't put a game in yet. This could be a game that you want to put on there. Maybe a cat game. Make a cat game.
I'll tell you what, I'd start from the beginning because I have no idea what we're doing. Cat Cop versus Paw Patrol. Awful. Nah, that wouldn't do Stray. I, I don't think I want to play Stray on stream. If, if what I've heard about, like, I, I'm like, it's an adorable game, but, like, the part about, like, oh, you might feel upset because of cats. Keep an eye out here. Is this the dungeon we go to? It, some Jake was talking something about it. It was like, you know, just like limping cat and stuff. I don't know. It's a, if I'm gonna play that game, I'd probably just play it on my own. But it looks like a fun game. I didn't even know the cat limped. I just thought it was cat game. And everyone was like, cat game. Play as cat, ruin everything. This could be the next game, though, on the poll, uh, which we can't vote on yet. Uh, we actually can't vote. Uh, it's not been reset. Is this Mega Man Legends? Everyone says that. How you doing, ye? Playing a half hour tail concerto. I actually don't know where to go. Well, just got home. Nice. You're having a relaxing day now. Maybe I have to go to the egg and investigate egg. Egg. Yeah, Airleaf. That was the place that I fucking hated. Trying to find a Pichu in Legends Arceus and ripping my hair out. Don't do that. You probably just have to wait for the temporal events or something. Maybe we go back to Airleaf? Oh god. button was it? Uh, what button was it? Excuse me, sir. I actually cannot remember how to fly. What the f why, why did I walk through that? Where did you learn to fly? Hold the X button, apparently. Yeah, look at why I don't like this control. It's like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is extremely sensitive. And then you take fall damage on top of that. The game expects you to fly places. No. 
I, I, I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, because... Yeah, it's rough. You basically have to, like, stall in the air. Skyward Sword? More like Skyward Board because of these sweet skills, duh. I wish the controls were not garbage for this. Hey, you gotta use them, so... have a harness for that? What happens if he falls out of that? He dies. Is that not clear enough? Pretty easy to fall out. Oh, but uh, he's a cat? You know how it is with cats? They're basically just made of water. Cats are liquid. They do not care what shape things are. Sure, Waffles a dog? Is he? I thought he was a cat. Sounds like a cat. I know he's eaten like bones, but dog. Hmm. I mean, he's the main character. He's a good guy, unlike you know the cats. But all cats are bad. That is that is true. It is a thing I live by. All cats are bad. The fifth state of matter. Correct. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma, cat. Look, it's been like a year since this last came up. Cut me some slack. Pac-Man World 2 is a game you don't really play. I mean, literally, you, you just don't play it. Yeah, this part's as bad as I remember. Oh boy. Like I said, maybe this game gets better. I just don't see what to do. And it could be because the last time we played this, we saved at a weird point. Who knows? Maybe Salata Robo is better. A lot better. Maybe the other games in this series are also better. But I don't know. I, I really hate this game. Sorry. I hate to disappoint, but I just I've just not had fun with this one. Uh when I when I've tried this one. I wanna like this game, but it's uh it just sucks. And like this part is just extremely frustrating with the flying.
And Pac-Man World 1, 2, and 3 are games that I should really revisit at some point. Games suck. They do. Video games do suck. Has anyone here ever liked a video game? You're part of the problem. Like I said, I'm, I'm willing to give this game a fair shot. I really want to like this one because it has a lot of charm. But it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just frustrating to play. So La Robo is the game that you want to get. It's also expensive. Hey, what a coincidence. I also have a copy of that game, Jake, for you. How convenient. Auto Robo is the most pricey DS game, yeah. What the fuck is going on here? I keep like running into like an invisible wall. I'm sure Salato Robo is good. I I could believe that. I there's a reason people like this game. That's there's no doubt about that. But like, this is a game, unlike Digimon, where, you know, I'm I'm just like, this is garbage. I just see no redeeming features with uh, any of those games. I can see there's something here to like. I, I want to like this game, but it's just, the controls are just not good. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. I don't know. It's also not very clear, if you couldn't tell, how far you need to go. You hope this gets a remake? If this got a remake, I would genuinely want to play this game on stream. I think it will never happen, because I don't know how much money these devs have, but uh, I can definitely understand, you know? Like, there's no arguing these controls are good for this. Did I miss a stream where I played? That's like every jukebox stream. That's the only time I've ever played any Digimon games at any time. Every, every single time someone picks one, I'm just like, this is terrible. And that happened today. So, I don't know. People, people are insistent on giving me Digimon, and I'm just like, they're like, no, 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 you'll like this. And then I'm like, eh, no. Look at that! I landed! Alter Robo was better. Who knows? Maybe I'll put that on the poll then at some point. I could put that on myself. There are games that I could put on that I'm happy to put on that are from other consoles. I'll put them on there, I don't mind. They knew this part was so bad they had to put healing items everywhere too. Like, I, I gotta point that out. You don't just cover everything in healing items and then just say, go for it. I think my pro- like, it's hard to tell if I'm hitting a wall or something. You wanted to see if they're pulling the card. Oh, you rascal. I'm sorry, did I go so high that I fell below? What what happened there? You also cannot tell uh, where things are when you're flying through here, like, oof. wish PS2 was on the list. Well, it's like I said, uh, if anyone wants to, for some reason, buy me a ridiculously big, uh, a ridiculously big, uh, hard drive, like an external, I will happily, happily get the entire PS2 library on there. 
Because uh, it's massive. That's the only way I'm doing it. I'll add GameCube as well if it's big enough. How big would that have to be? Find out how big that would have to be if you added all the games. And let's just say it doesn't need to be that exact size. But yeah, it's like 20 terabytes at least. You want to get me like one that would fit GameCube as well? I'll do it. Do you? Yeah, you don't understand how many PS2 games there are. There's too many. Too many PS2 games. <laughs> it's actually a problem. For me, at least. Half of them are Phoenix and very funny. Look at you. Black cats terrorizing the mine at Furzen. Ah, if you don't talk to that guy, you won't know where Furzen is. Well, that's dumb. I, I can't believe I made five minutes of progress because there's only five minutes left of playing this. Look, it's Furzen. I wonder what the head of the Iron Giant looks like. The Iron Giant. I love that guy in Multiverses. I'm going to get in trouble if you walk around unescorted. Why is he droopy? Oh, you always overreact. We just came here to look, right? Yes, but... Oh, that's... Huh? Man, Beyond the Beyond is a really generic RPG. Like, there, I, I have nothing exciting or bad to say about that game. Beyond the Beyond is just... exists? I don't know. I watched a friend play it and I was like, What is this game? Really, there were no redeeming things about it. It's a cool name, but it's just like the Black Cats gang have kidnapped the princess. It's a game you bought. And you got a PS. Was that a PS One game? I thought it was like a Sega CD game or something. Princess? You mean Princess Teria? Yes, that princess. She wanted to see the head of the Iron Giant, so we came here to see it. But. We were ambushed by the Black Cats gang. The next thing I knew, she was gone. Oh, dear. If anything happens to the princess, I don't deserve to live. Hold on a minute. It's not your fault. Don't worry. I'll save Princess Teria. I promise. Princess. Oh, princess. Please be okay. You have to play it? Oof, good luck with that. And the police robo is damaging repair using this. Huh? Hi, Melkiel. All the furries showing up for this game. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa to you. Oh, whoa. Black cats just showed up here. They must be up to something. They're probably knocking shit over. I still think Waffle looks more like a cat. He's just good cat instead of bad cat. You know I streamed the game, Flash, right? 
I, I streamed it. I, like, before it came out, the devs gave me a copy. Did you miss that? No, that's, that's the early access. They said there's no embargo, you can play it whenever. That's what I did. That was the full game. Well, full. Very much there uh, for me to play. I have no reason to go back to it until it's done. Wait, we just went in here. Full. Yeah, it's not a game I consider beat. I don't like to count any games that are unfinished. I've heard some people say that. it's like They're like, it counts, and I'm like, mm. I think if your game is unfinished, it means there's no ending. You get to the end of a roguelike, if it's like unfinished, I don't know. Maybe that one counts, but I don't like to count unfinished games as finished. beating a demo disc. Yeah. All right, I should save so we can move on to the next game. Also, it sounds like he's meowing when he gets hurt too. And we didn't get to do anything, but uh, who knows? Like I said, if, if someone really wants, I would not be opposed to trying this in full on stream if this goes on the poll and people want to vote on it. But uh, no voting until uh, that gets reset, so hopefully tomorrow. That is the face of a cat. Thank you. What I'm trying to say, he's a cat. He's a stray cat girl. All right, this is a dangerous keyword, but uh, I'm gonna have to do this because furry game. The look, Sam Sam. You're here to judge. I haven't even done anything wrong, Sam Sam. you? Did you have a keyword? The look equals baby rage. Is Sam Sam baby raging? Did I have a keyword today? No. My name is Ooze Worm though.
Oh, oh Takan is my favorite character for Metal Gear. Well, we're gonna be playing Metal Gear Solid 2 tomorrow. Uh, we're also doing a birthday stream on Sunday. We're gonna play Jackbox and Gardic. Uh, it's gonna be called Pros Don't Animate in Gardic Phone. We get anyone that's not Dalton, because he's the only pro. As far as I know, there's no one else who animates here professionally that watches these streams. Maybe there is! Hey, it takes time and effort. If you wish, you're gonna need to put the time and effort in with anything. You don't animate at all, then you're in the same boat as me. a lot to robo is it like a, a, a metroidvania Not a Metroidvania. You know, I'll probably have to do some rounds, uh, I see, where we get a bunch of artists for Gardic. We'll do, like, actual artist time. And I'll be the one person who, uh, you know, everyone knows it's me because the art is terrible. It'll be genius. Define actual artist. Um, you could draw one line. You have to be able to draw a straight line, but uh, I can't draw a straight line. I can only draw bylines. I like how everyone knows. Oh, absolutely. I love that about some games. Anyway. Let's do the old 10 second countdown. Please save your game ready. It makes us go a lot faster. We get more games in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really? That's a little weird. Not twice in one stream, though. Technically. Technically not. My choice. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what the old uh, Juker pile has today. <sighs> Am I gonna really do it? Am I gonna do this today? You guys, uh, you guys want to laugh at a game that I found that exists? Oh my god, Treasure made this game? What? Oh wait, no, that's the wrong game. That's why. <laughs> okay, never mind, that's the wrong game. Well, that was a different game. I clicked the wrong game. I'm not- what? No, I'm not playing that. What are you- t What are you talking about? I clicked on the wrong, uh, game in my console. 
Uh, you know, my real console that exists. There it is! Did you know? It's actually a Hudson game. You know. Irritating Stick was on the N64 in Japan? Let's fucking go. Irritating Stick! This is based on a Japanese game show. I had to see how this was on the N64. The goal of the game is uh, you guide the irritating stick. And it's a Japanese game show that really exists. And if you touch the side, that happens. I had to show that off. Does this control any better? I would say so. Okay, the goal is to not touch the sides. Eat it, eat it, bowl. Yes. If Operation was a point A to B game. The, the game show shocked the contestants. Yes, it did. If you if you got uh if you got it wrong, like you touch the side, you get shocked. So there's your incentive for playing perfectly. Me, the man with the shakiest hands ever. No, that's I'm reading what you said out, Arcade. <laughs> A button speeds you up. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous, though. Just don't be bad. I love how everyone kind of knows about Irritating Stick, but most people didn't know it was based on a game show. I, Japanese game shows are crazy. They'll let you do anything. You want to hear about a crazy game show not from Japan, though? You know, there was a game show in Russia. I think it was Russia. The goal of the game show was to steal a car. A real car. And if you got away with it, you got to keep it. Yes, that was really a show. Fuck. Human Tetris is one of your favorites. I want to get through one level by the end of the half hour. I mean, at least I'm not getting shot. <laughs> Have you seen the speedrun they did of this game on GDQ? Years ago, I want to say this was live GDQ, so this must have been like 2016, 2017. They did a run of this game, the PS1 version, and it was crazy. Oh. 
game is giving you so you're not even playing it. By the way, irritating stick lets you make your own different uh, levels. I don't know if this is in the N64 version. I know the PS1 version lets you. I love this though. Go in the bird with it. What the MR is for? Uh, good question. Probably something like my rod. The MR that's in the the letters on the bottom. Or, or, it's not really the bottom, but it's in the path. But yeah, the speedrun for this game is incredible. They don't stop moving. The guy only got hit like one time when they streamed it. I think it was in like the last level. This is just those jump scare flash games. It, it, it was. It was based off that game show. I'm gonna give this to Mr. R Knight, and he's gonna be like, "Yeah, very funny." Got my name in it. And then uh, he doesn't realize I gave him an irritating stick, and he's gonna be like, uh, "Very funny." Give me a Japanese game show. But uh, the, the thing is, is that we shock him every time. I'm gonna beat one level. My goal is one level. I knew what I was getting into when I picked this. So, uh, Oozworm, can I interest you in Irritating Stick on the N64 for Wheel of Belays? Imagine failing right at the end. Yeah, imagine being Jake and then not being as good as me. That's how I feel playing Irritating Stick. Are there only three levels? What? It seems like there's multiple levels. What are these Mario question mark blocks doing here? You wanna race Kudu Kudu Din? I'd be down for that. What's the difference? Baby mode? If you're really good, you can go between the gaps there. 
Yeah, I think this is one of the same levels. I think this is the exact same game. Which means, uh, I can put this on the Wheel of Malaise. Oh, I see. If you- if you play like this, it just lets you continue. That's not fun. That's- that's not the fun of Irritating Stick. You're- Oh, they give you lives. Oh, well, I guess that's better than what I thought. Uh, sure, so we show off more of the game, we'll do it like this. Hey chat, just asking a theoretical question here. Uh, for a Sunday stream, would you want to see if I can find enough games for it? A Japanese game show night. Because I've done game show nights, but... Specifically ones that are Japanese game shows. I don't know if that many exist. Is there enough? There are, are Game Center CX games. Is that really a game show, though? Um, not really. It is a show about games. I can't really stream Takeshi's Castle. You know, Takeshi's uh, Challenge? I don't have a way to do it. You need the microphone. You have to sing, and the singing is important. I want to play it, I, I just don't have a way to. If there is a way to play that game without singing, I'd be down. The Jinsen games? What? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck this. Bonus points for this game if you could do it with Drift. Oh god. It's not that you get lives, it's you get reduced time. I can't wait for them to put this on the Japanese Switch online. Can you imagine if they did that? No, maybe you're not losing time. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough games to do that. No, you see, I I want to do all of uh, Takeshi's challenge because, like, it's like a legendary bad game. I mean, it's the reason that Kusoge exists. Apparently, it's like the game that started it. You know me, I love my Kusoge. Uh, it's basically shit game. Wow, I can't believe you'd say that, Jake. I'm a little hurt. You mean hole in the wall? I don't have that. I couldn't find it. Uh, once the summer heat is gone, next stream will happen. That is a guarantee. Only reason it hasn't happened yet is it's just too hot for me to physically do it. So going! So going! What about just game show games? That's not the point, I've already done those. Multiple times. They're fun, it's just... 
That's not the same thing as, like, if I were to do Japanese game show night, you know? But how are you doing, though? Good to see you, buddy. I'm sorry, is that a dick and balls at the start? What is that? Nice horse face. Oh god, you can't even pause the game. I just tried to see if I could like restart. No restarting. You know, if I ever win uh, Shroom's Community, Community Tuesday, I'm giving him this game. He's probably watching now and he's like, oh, really? He's gonna fucking hate it if I do that, though. Sam, Sam, what do you think of that? What is this? Oh, this is N64, Malkiel. You could suggest this. It's not called the Irritating Stick, it's, um... Just look up your irritating stick in 64, you'll get the proper name. Oh yes, that's even more evil. Just tell him I said to pick it. If you pick, if you win mail kill. Does anyone have the uh, Japanese name? You can add it to the backlog. I mean, you're there more than I am. I stream on Tuesdays. It'll be great, because Shroom will be like, I don't know what this is. What's this Japanese game? And then he's like, all right, all right, we'll do it. And then he gets to the, uh... It's not actually the name of the game, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think it was something with a U at the start. Let me double check. This is called Uchen Nanchan no Hono no Challenger Denryu Iriiribo. Yeah, that's that's the full name. Yeah, you see, he'll blame me instead of you if uh, you say that I put you up to the task. We're in, the, we're in the dick and balls. We're out. I think he said it was heart beating action. I heard, I heard uh, Kokoro in there. Watch out for the elevators. <laughs> Family trainer Totsugeki Fun Takeshi Ju and it apparently is an English show. Oh! I have not heard about that one. I can't believe this. This is the run, maybe. Oh, 
This is not the run. Gotta be honest, even with the extra lives, game's still insanely hard. You'd love to see this in a Yakuza game. I'll have to, uh, like I said, it, you know, Ooze isn't here, so unless he's lurking, I mean, I'm sure he's fine with this on the Wheel of Malaise, right? Would surely be a shocking hit. Yes. What the fuck is this? Hammering goes so fucking bad there. I don't have enough time now. I can't do it. There's not enough time. That camera angle's so bad. Golden Balls, based on the name. I actually am familiar with Golden Balls. That and Crystal Maze. I think Crystal Maze is British. You know what no one ever made, which I'm surprised was not a video game? Legends of the Hidden Temple. That or figure it out. I feel like both of those were good contenders. It was a guts game. Yes. And it sucks. Did, 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 did you know it sucks? There's American Gladiators. I mean, maybe that's what I can do if I do a game show night next time. Hidden Temple sort of came back, but apparently it was like a TV show based on it or something. I don't know. I heard something like that. A revival on CW as well as a movie. For a game show? Why? Just make the show. Nobody wants lore. Do, 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 you know the floor. I mean, I know it's Legends of the Hidden Temple, but like, it's just, Guts theme is so much better. Legends of the Hidden Temple theme is just like, dun, 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 Take my sweet ass time going up. Let's fucking go. 
Does this have the, let me check. Was this the level creator? No. Oh. Level creator? That's options. There is a level creator in the PS1 game. What the fuck are these question marks? I gotta find out. Danger! What? Final? Well, that's not fair. Oh no, this is a maze. Oh no. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Gotta get past the balls. No fucking way you want me to do this under, under three. It was not too bad, actually. The start was the hardest. What? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What is this? I think this is in the PS1 version, actually. Come to think of it. Irritating man. That's hilarious. We have made a giant human robot. That's probably like the creator of the TV show, or like the host. One of them. Those could be the same. I don't actually know. We're almost on time, but uh, this is really fun. I like this. I hope this has been fun to watch. I'm taking the L. I want to see what gold mode is. How is that any different from the normal one? Do you have less time? Danger, fire. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is really fun. Uh, I've wanted to try this out for a while, ever since I found out this had an N64 port. It's about the same game, but it's, I think it controls a little bit better. Alright, if you want 
to get in on the raffle. It's gonna be irritating. I can't tell if you're joking or not, because that sounds like a thing that a Japanese game show would do, is have crazy lore. Everyone is doing well though. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful night. to think of it, I don't even remember which of the Jackbox had uh, proper You Don't Know Jack. I don't remember that. I think it's four. Either like four or five. Yeah, but that didn't have multiplayer, Yoshi, so it was the worst game. There's no point in playing that. Like, it, it, you can't really do it online like you can with the other Jackboxes. They kind of realized streaming was so big because they didn't intend for streaming to be, like, the focus of Jackbox. And then they were just like, oh, shit. We gotta redo this. Zeepal Dome? Man. I actually, I hear Zeepal Dome is pretty good if you're playing it in person, I think. Pleasing? Why is everyone doing pleasing? We like to be pleased. Do you? about that.
You have to visit the, the DMV? Oof. That's not fun. Well, hopefully your birthday is better. Can't do an online renew because they added that real ID thing. Ugh. All right. Let's do the old 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Abrek. Congrats. Megan Zero. Oh boy. This is the hard one. Megan Zero. I think I've ever actually played this one on stream. I think I've only ever played three. And you know how I feel about this series, usually. Cool game! Games are too hard though. Minus like apparently the easy mode in the collection they recently made. These games were uh, brutal. Yeah, this is the prequel to Mega Man 1! They're good games! I just... They're... They're rude. I'm gonna speed this up so we can get to the gameplay. As much as I like the plot and all that, it's gonna take forever otherwise, so... Yeah, I will not be getting any achievements for this game. I have to have zero of them. Same with the other ones. It's really where the bosses that make this game bullshit. Did Zero ever find out what he was fighting for at this point in time? No. <laughs> no, I know the answer. A cyber elf. Yeah, you think by this game, of course you would figure it out. What is this, a dead end? Uh... I think it's a screen crunch. I don't think that's a problem. This game was designed for this. I just think this game is very rude. Movement is very good, I will give you that. There are there are things I really like about this game.
have a lightsaber. And what if I don't want to use my gun? Actually, don't even know the button to use it. Collect? Pause? Our button. Saberless present. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is safer. I think part of what makes this game so hard, too, for people uh, playing this game... You know what sucks about this game? The amount of iframes that things have. Have you noticed that? I can't arc, what's up? Everyone knows this game is rude. It should not have been this hard. I would like the series a lot more. Oh, okay. You got a uh, RNG. Rats, you haven't been hit yet. The series definitely got better as it went on. I think the fourth one is probably the best one from what I remember. Oh, wow, actually it does make him way easier. I didn't think it was gonna do any more damage. It's been years. I've never played any of the, the Zex games, as I'm going to call them, ZX. Many things about this game suck. I don't know. Everak, who did you hurt today? Or, well, who hurt you? To pick such a cold-blooded game like this? Download Elf. I would love to download my Elf. Feed Elf. Ah, God damn it! I got an achievement. Gotta reset them later. Sorry, sorry. You know how it is. Oh, I like that one Pokemon game. Oh, Crystal. No, no, no. We don't want achievements. This is zero. We don't want them. Let's badge this. I can't. I hate this game. It's Baby Rage. Mega Baby Rage. If I'm gonna play this game, it's gonna be the collection, and I'm gonna play the easy mode. Because it makes the games reasonable. I never liked that they gave him, like, a gun instead of just his usual gun arm. I guess you just can't go that way. Like, like I said, everyone knows that these games are brutal. Never played the Zero games. Very hard, Sam Sam. You will baby rage. You'll be like, fuck this. Harder than Waluigi's taco stands. Again with the Waluigi's taco stand, he says. Again. No, I'm serious. This game, uh, the series um, up until like the fourth one is pretty brutal. Not the original body. What game don't I baby rage with? Uh, Final Fantasy IX Jump Rope like you're probably doing right now? What am I doing here? 
exactly? I don't remember. I'm just trying to find the next level. Fuck the jump rope. It looks so happy, though. Don't you want to make VV happy by jump roping? You know, uh, speaking of trance, uh, Sam Sam is streaming Final Fantasy IX, so uh, go follow him if you like that. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm skipping all the plot, I just want to know where to go. It has been years, so I don't remember where to go. Fuck to seal. I don't even know where she is. I, I started next to her and I moved on. Honestly, why even have the elevator? This is more fun. I think she was over here. How do I talk? Here we go. I think Sark was recently doing this, and I think he even said the set was really bad for this one. Because, uh, game's already baby rage, so... Anti-Creates is great, though. Don't get me wrong. I like a lot of their games. I like Mega Man 9 and 10, for example. I, I just don't like, uh, this series for being so rude. You got a self. That's that's short for Cyber Elf. What we call them? They don't explain the elf system very well. Well, they definitely don't hear where. I mean, I skipped it, so yeah, of course they don't. glad there is an easy mode in the new games, because, like, that's the only way that I'd be willing to stream them. And, uh, unfortunately, I do not have the collection. Also, kind of just don't want to stream them. But hey, this game has its loyal fans. I mean, my only real complaint with these games is they're just way too difficult. Like, traversing through the levels is fine. What I remember mostly sucking was the boss fights were just so unfair. Mega Man and Base had to be the worst. That's impossible when Mega Man and Base 2 exists. You know, for the Wonder Swan. Oh, time to get destroyed. Hi, Aztec Falcon. I love doing this in degrades. I really think it would help if uh, in their games they had some kind anything. Just some kind of way for you to like either have E-Tanks, I don't remember if they do, or uh, get rid of the iframes, well, reduce the iframes, I should say. Oh, 
Like, this is the first boss of the game, and you see what I mean. Like, the other one's like the intro boss, but this is like the first proper boss. Obviously, they went for a no weakness system, which is fine. I think there's sort of like weaknesses and like recommended weapons. I, I don't remember entirely, but it's more that things were just super rude. Sub tanks, then they should give you them before all this, which they don't. Yeah, game over after death is a little strange. I don't really understand that. That's fine. I, I'm not the expert on this series. I love Mega Man, it's just that I'm not super familiar with the Zero games. I don't remember there being weaknesses. I mean, you would know better than me. Your name is literally Zero Mark. Some don't. Okay, so a half right. I'm gonna take that as a half right. I like. I really only think the fourth game holds up well. But hey, uh, the easy mode does exist for a reason now. That's, that's another thing, too. Some of the collectibles are just a little weird like that. Oh, it absolutely continued to improve. It should not be that hard to grab. The one you cyber elves. Gross. See, theoretically, I could just sit here and grind. make a guy with a gun and a sword. They didn't make a new guy, though. Make a guy with a gun sword. Oh, Sam Sam loves that guy. A gun sword? He's a big fan. I can't believe Sam Sim beats Final Fantasy VIII and immediately jumps into Final Fantasy IX. Shiny Raikou, you finally got your- you never gave up on finding it? Oh my god, I wish I was in call with you, because I- you're probably screaming right now. Sam Sam has been doing the worst retro achievement set ever. Uh, actually the worst, so I get to say that. Shiny subset for Pokemon Crystal. You have to get every thing, single, uh, shiny. Uh, if you don't know how the, the shiny dogs work in Gen 2, well, uh, they're not shiny anymore once they, uh, are found. They have to be shiny on release. You have to release them and then find them in the wild. Oops. Who thought that was a good idea? Uh, people who really like CBT, you know? Sometimes you just say, you can't beat this. I know a few people who've done that. I would never do it. People out there who are crazy Pokemon nuts, be, be my fucking guest. I'm never doing that. It's uh, Raikou and Entei are the really bad ones. Shiny hunting, to me, has no appeal. You know how boring a stream sounds of just shiny hunting? Which I, I know people like.
Shiny starter? No. Lonely didn't want to play Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl until she got the uh, Shiny Hiplop, I think she wanted. She beat the game in like a day right after. Don't mind me, I still never had a shiny. Nope, never will. Everyone's always like, what about the red Gyarados? Not only does that not count, still never caught it. Y'all thought I really caught the red Gyarados. You never seen the crystal stream I did where I fucking killed it. Box was full, didn't have a choice. Didn't save in like hours. Watch you find it in, nope, I will not. Guarantee. Found cheese. Found cheese. Cheese has been enabled. Fuck that, boss. Well, hi there, Jupiter. Oh, man, it's Sark. I had no idea you were gonna raid. Hey, Sark. How are you doing? Someone wanted me to play this for a half hour. I was talking about how you recently played this. Sark, you, uh, you loved this game, right? It was so fun to grind. Just talking about how much you, you loved this game. Yo, voice, what's up? How you doing? Grumple. Anyone else? Welcome. We are doing uh, Community Night. You get to pick the game for a half hour. Hope you're doing well. Voice, I have done a few of your sets. They're quite good. Appreciate them. I think I've done some of your sets. I swear I have. Hope you're doing well, though. First playthrough, you just said fuck the elves. It is a good thing I don't have to beat this today. Uh, we are doing a birthday stream on uh, Sunday. We're gonna be doing a bunch of Jackbox and Gardic, so if anyone's interested, stick around. Download. Give me, give me some new elves. Woke up a bit ago, hope you're well. I was, yeah, I'm doing good. Press the wrong button. Gibber. Climbing is my specialty. Bruski. Save you from a pit. I don't need either of those. You want increased vitality? I can give you some vitality. Oh Ron, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Alexia, good to see you. Oh, this must have been so much grinding for that set. I couldn't possibly do a set like this. It's already done and you hated it. Ugh. Like I said, these, these games are too hard for me. Whew. These games are brutal. You're supposed to not use the elves if you want high ranks. Oh. Begin mission. Like, it's a good thing this series only got better with time, but I stand by, I think the only good first Mega Man game is Mega Man X. Every other Mega Man game that started a series Kinda sucks. Mechanics is just poorly implemented. Yeah, it really is. Everyone was saying that at the start. Uh, luckily, Sark, we only have a few minutes left before we get to play something else. Oh, I guess you just can't go up here? Wait, stop letting me wall jump. No, Legends is good. Well, mm, some people don't like Legends. I like Legends. I really like Legends. Mm. 
No, I really like the Battle Network series. Uh, I hate the first game. I think it's not very good. I think the first game is absolutely not a good time. You never played the first one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, don't ever play the first one. It sucks. Everything looks the same on the internet from what I remember. Which really got confusing fast. Cyber Elf, oh boy. Uh, the combat in general just wasn't very good. Just, everything was just like, eh, this is a good idea, I guess. I, I don't ever want to go back to that. Like, let me put it this way. Eventually on stream, I would like to play Battle Network 2 and 3. And 5 and 6, maybe. 6 is really good. I would definitely like to do 6, but like... Kind of mixed on 5. I like a lot of what 5 does, but I also kind of don't. I would definitely say either 3 or 6 is my favorite. Fuck it, like main in 1. Yeah. My favorite part of the series is when eventually at a certain point, uh, when was it? Was it in Battle Network 6 or 5? There is a point in the series where uh, Mr. Program goes, everyone jack off immediately. That was five. Yep. You had to have known what you were doing when you typed that. You've reached the engine chamber. Whoa, 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 hold on. You've never, you've never heard about that? That's a real line. Like, we need to jack off immediately. Because... Okay, if you've never played Mega Man Battle Network, it's called Jacking In. I mean, the translation for 4 is, like, legendary. Because, don't we- we have to go viruses busting, chat. Can you hear me, Zero? At some point on this stream, we will do Battle Network 2. Luckily, I don't really need to do the achievement sets for 2 and 3. So, uh, I can play however I want for those games. Including, uh, hacking in the chips that you can't get, because, uh, they were only released in Japan. But it's not called logging in, it's called jacking in. Some program advances. Buddy, you only need one. You just gator to victory. Let me do you wanna know what I did for that fucking achievement set? Which I still need to finish the last achievement. It's just grind the 5,000 kills. Sark, it's so bad. It's it's so boring. Oh my god, like why why is that an achievement? It does not need to be in there. But, uh, you only need Gator. That's my my deck at the end of the game. Gator. 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 Things to make Gator better. Gator. Uh, things to skip the turn. That's my team. If I buy whatever to reward the boss had. Good game design there. Yeah. Well, we can move on to a better game now. I enjoy this series. I just wish it wasn't so mean.
All right, if you want to get in on the next raffle, it's going to be Elf. You just got to be following and enter the keyword here. So if you don't know what Gator is, Gator is the easiest program advance in the world to make. You need Gate Man, you need Fan, and you need Wind. I think it's Wind Fan Gator Man. And he just tosses out a ridiculous amount of junk that homes in on the enemy and does too much damage. Doesn't matter what version of Gate Man it is, it just it destroys everything. Yo, Pern, what's up? So it gets really bad when you consider you could just add in a plus 30 chip. A plus 10 chip? Oh, you could get multiple plus 30s because you could glitch it, so you could just have a ridiculous number of them stacked up? You can get like a plus 60 total is the max you can do for that program advance, because you can pick 5 at once. So that's crazy. I'm doing good. Thank you for stopping my burn. Always a pleasure. It's, but then you just have all the stuff in your deck that also is just skip turn, skip turn, skip turn. Nine junk at 100 damage each. And a plus damage for each one. It's so it's so busted, it's not fair. If I ever stream the game, I'm gonna make it a point to not use Gator, just to be fair. Except for maybe base, you know, fuck that guy. Battle Network 3 is a lot more balanced than 2. The whole conversation just let Juker talk about his deck. Yeah. The second game is fine. The third game is way better. Fourth game is awful. Uh, did you play four, Sark? Four is a game you have to play three times. You have to play it three times. You don't have a choice. Four is just terrible. It's uh, got great programming errors, or not not, not programming errors, uh, spelling errors. It's got viruses busting, and just a super glitchy game, but it's got some really good ideas it pushes forward, it's just bad. Uh, five, way better game. Five has like, five feels more like it should have been a spin-off to me, and I, I kind of stand by that. Like, I think as a proper sequel I don't like five, but as a spin-off I think it's a really good game, where they have like a... Kind of like a tactic style gameplay, Sark, where it kind of becomes like Fire Emblem. But instead of, you know, the animation playing, you have to actually do the fight. Where I would say Six did so many things right, it sucks that it's the end of the series. Unless the Battle Network collection sells so well it means Battle Network 7, which they'll do it if it makes enough money. Mega Man in 5, name a more iconic duo. Mega Man in 3, Mega Man in 6. Got you there. Sam Sam, have you ever played any of the Battle Network games? Bacon and eggs. You caught it? Nice. Now you have to get the other one, don't you have to get Entei? Yeah, maybe don't start with the first one, Sam Sam. You may not like it. All Mega Man games with 5 in it are great. X5 is not great. So, you can correct yourself. Lies and slander. I only speak the truth. You know, Zero Five would have been a great game if they made it. Ever tried the Mega Man Star Force series? No, that's one of the only series I haven't tried. Oh boy. Like, I, I keep saying it, the X series only got worse. I, I can't say I like that series, most of the games suck. I have, I have this conversation so many times on stream, I don't like the X-Series. There are quality of life patches for X5 and 6 that make them way better, Sark. I can't in good faith let you play X6. It might be worse than 7. That's saying a lot. It's real fucking bad. 6 is like frustratingly bad. 7 is like, they don't know what they want to do with 7, so it's a mess. But it's not as bad as 6, I would say, because like 6 is like, holy shit.
I don't, I don't like 8. No, I, I really do not like the X series. That's fine if you like it. I do not like X8. I know Sark also... Me and Sark kind of have the same opinions on most games. You wouldn't say 6 is worse than 7. I didn't like 4 until I streamed it, and I said, you know what, this game is better than I thought. I will admit, X8 has Bamboo Pandemonium, which is the best name ever, but, you know, aside from that, not for me. Is it better than 7, or 6, or 5? Probably. It is the most okay game. But the first four, yeah, they're good. I don't even know if I could tell you if X2 is better than 1. Like, I flop back and forth on that. Is it? I can't really tell you. Hard to say. Yeah, it's 2.5D. It kind of needed to be after 7, because 7 was such a mess. Command missions. That's a spin-off. I, I don't know if I can count that. Command missions I hear is good, though, but it's hard for me to count a spin-off. Where, like, it's clearly not the same when you're comparing them. But I hear it's good. I hear it's, like, really good. Gigapult Main War. That is also pretty good. One, four, two, three. I won't even put seven and eight in there. Wow. Yeah, Sark, you're not gonna like five. Here's the thing with five. Five was meant to end the series. If five sucked and it was the end of the series, I would have said, okay, that's fair. You know, it wasn't very good, but I'm happy with the series overall. But then they, you know, just kept going. Like, Oh boy, the fort in 6 might be one of the worst I've ever done in any Mega Man game, Sark. And not only that, but it, it got worse and worse. Have you heard about the nightmares in 6? Uh, they're random viruses that appear and then kill the hostages in the game. If the hostages die, uh, they don't ever respawn. And some of them spawn, like, off-screen with the enemies that are also off-screen and just, like, kill them. And then you never do them. You're never able to get them. You just have to know they're there. And, like, you have, like, seconds to do it. You can't, like, reload the stage, it doesn't let you. It's just gone forever. It's so it's fucking terrible, like... Who the fuck thought this was fun? That's how you know, it's like, well, we really did want the series to end on 5, but we kept going anyway. Anyway, let's roll this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Arcade! Congratulations. Powered Up 2 was a thing? Yeah, Powered Up 1 is really good. Sark, if you haven't played Powered Up, you still need to do it. It's just better Mega Man 1 in every way. I feel like the appeal of Powered Up, though, is you get to play as everyone. Like, every Robot Master. Also, Oil Man is there and he's kind of racist, but I mean, hey, everyone else is good. Mega Man Kiwami. Kawami means Mega Man. I saw a man get murdered, by the way, the other day in Judgment, uh, speaking of Kawami. Uh, he got murdered by a turtle. It was the heat action. I threw him into a koi pool, and there was just a turtle in there for some reason. He just started snapping him until he uh, blacked out in the middle of the pool. I assume he drained. Yeah, everyone is there for Mega Man Powered Up, including Proto Man and Roll. And Roll's got a bunch of different costumes. Am I really playing a second game tonight with Ninja Gaiden Ryu? We are. That was very loud. Powered Up had a stage builder and it was very good. But we're gonna play Ninja Ryu guy. Give me Elena, Genfu, Kasumi. Tina Armstrong. Tina's a classic. She's got the boobs. 
Bass Armstrong, Leon, Zack. God, I forgot how different Zack looks in this. I'm gonna make this lower because this is still really loud. Dan Lee, Ayane, Ayn, Li Fang. Gotta be Ninja Ryu guy. Costume 2, was it? I expect you to do the Azuna drop? Yeah, very funny. Oh, I thought that was costume 2. Is that not costume 2? So if you don't know, this is uh, Ninja from the Gaiden. They wanted to put him in and they like redesigned him and I hate his design. Take it easy JTM, thanks for stopping by. Get ready, fight! Guess I'll die. Ah, dead or alive. I love how you play. Yeah, I, I don't know why they redesigned him like this. Nobody likes this design. They like his, like, classic design. Dead or Alive 1 ran on the same engine as Virtual Fighter 2. I do remember that. Every once in a while I play Virtual Fighter 2. Because I'm playing Yakuza games and it's in there and I go, Yeah, this game is still good! Or I'm playing Virtual Fighter 5 in Yakuza. This game is a hold which acts like an instant counter, which is like Geese's counter. Fucking Geese. Oh, I guess he's Hayabusa Ichiman, not Ryu Hayabusa. Hayabusa is the family name. I know that, but I thought, uh, it's Ryu Hayabusa. I'm not gonna remember how to do the Zuna drop, by the way. Everyone hates geese, but the key to beating geese is to stop having skill issues. Basically what you just said. I don't know, I beat geese like twice on stream in a half hour, so... Pretty easy. Knocked him off the roof a couple times. It's okay, Leon. I'm going to take you to my ninja gaiden. I love the announcer for DOA. Remember when this series added Mr. Chief from the Halo? But it wasn't really Mr. Chief, it was, uh, Nicole the Spartan. Halo with the jiggle of DOA. I can't hear you, the stage is so loud! I'm sorry! Why are we fighting here? This seems like a very dangerous place to have a fight. Oh shit, I got a critical hold.
Now, I mean, this game is pretty good, but you know what's an even better game? That's right, Multiverses. Great game. Play Multiverses. I mean, let me ask you a question, chat. Who is the better fighter? Ryu Hayabusa, a very talented ninja who is very skilled, has defeated many demons, knows the Izuna drop, and uh, what else is he good at? Uh, legendary Sword. Actually, he's kind of a shady ninja. He's, he's really bad at being stealthy. But, he, you know, he's really deadly. So who would win? Him? Or uh, the Iron Giant's fucking caked up ass crushing you under him in multiverses? The answer may surprise you. It's really just the jiggle that Dead or Alive is known for. Remember when Zack makes his own island and does Dead or Alive Extreme? God, I would love to do Dead or Alive Extreme. Is Dead or Alive Extreme 1 on PS2? I might have to allow that for my choice at some point. Danger Zone! Xbox exclusive. I might be able to get that to work. I need to get Tekken 7 at some point, because I would play it if I had it. Maybe next time it goes on sale. I bought a game yesterday on Steam, but it was not for me. It was for someone else. Did you know that Steam made it really hard to buy games for people who want to buy games for people, so I have to be the middleman? Let's play Tekken 7. Sam Sam, do you have it on Steam? I hear Tekken 7 is the best Tekken game. Tekken 7 has a lot of DLC. The game is like $6 on sale if it's on sale. That's not a big deal. If you get the Steam port, I'll play it with you, Sam Sam. But uh, I don't want you to like rage quit when my uh, skills are so good. You're just gonna be like, can't win against him, you know? There's only gonna be two hits when I'm playing with you, Sam Sam. It's me hitting you and you hitting the floor. Remember Virtual Fighter? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Virtual Fighter is great. Let me take your life. Weird thing to ask someone. Doesn't one of the new Dead or Alive? Yes, I think it's all like costume DLC. Sark, uh, when an Xbox is reasonable to emulate and gets achievements, are you gonna try and do Ninja Gaiden Black for uh, achievement set? I kinda just wanna stream that game soon. I got it working. It actually runs really well on emulator. It's probably like the only good Xbox emulator game. You've never played Ninja Gaiden? Like, dude, it's so good. It kind of plays like Devil May Cry is a good way to describe it. Very good combo game. Is Ninja Gaiden Black the same as Sigma? Uh, Black's better than Sigma, but yes. They kind of don't like releasing Black for some reason. And then the later games also aren't really clear on what should be in a Ninja Gaiden game because they keep changing uh, stuff for each version. So it's like, this version has this problem, which sucks. But also they added this thing, which is good. But also they added this thing, which is really bad.
That's gross, brawler. Ugh. You think it was a sequel? Funny story, Grumple. I was talking about this earlier because we played Ninja Gaiden on the Game Boy today. Yo, what's up, Alex? My wheel! Here, do you want to Pulse 18? I'll, uh, I'll play Pulse 18. Here, here's my impersonation of Pulse doing, uh, his Pulse 18. I'm a big bitch. Yes, you are, Pulse. That was easy. I just want to see something. Costume 3. Does that actually change things? A wheel! Ah, oh, there's the classic outfit. So... Yeah, the reason I, I brought up... Uh, can I not get out of the fight? I guess I have to lose? It's one of those games where it doesn't let you just leave. So, we were talking about the timeline earlier, though. The timeline is basically... Oh, it's... Just let me back in. Alright, I'm restarting the game. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, do this. There we go. Uh-oh. I think the game crashed. Hold on. Hold on. Shut up! It's so loud. Oh my god, why the fuck is she so loud? Get out of my ear! Ah, Windows 11. I will always hate you. So let's do story mode as Kasumi. But, uh, apparently, Ninja Gaiden takes place in the same timeline as the, the Sigma series, as it's referred to. Yeah, how you doing, Marin? You know, I would love uh, a masterclass in boob physics like this. Uh, don't tell Sam Sam, but uh, I'm a real ladies' man, you know? It's me! Get ready. Braddy Marin, why would you call her something so mean? They're not making a Windows 12. They've already said, they're like, we're gonna... That's the whole point of Windows 11 was, they're like, this is the last Windows, we're just gonna keep updating it. Which I doubt they're gonna keep, but they did say that. So that was Windows 10? They said it again with 11. No one has ever given me a, a fix for my issue. It's, it's just every single time I load anything up, uh, the volume resets, and I can't fix it. said the same thing about Windows 10. Keep getting sidetracked. My point is, yeah, the, the Sigma series and the main series of Ninja Gaiden are just the same timeline, but like, the NES games are way later in the timeline. It doesn't fucking make any sense, but this is real. This is the last one for only release going forward. Windows 10 also sucked. Hi, Zach. Gotta love Zach. He's great. Damn, Kasumi, my secret main. I think he's dead. Kasumi is favored waifu. Marin, who would you say is the sexiest waifu? I mean, I'm not horny, but if I were, who would it be, you know? I 
I think Kasumi and Ayane have both made it into Ninja Gaiden Sigma series. Like, I think they only started making them Sigmas because they had to re-release them and were like, how do we make it not confusing? Call them Sigmas. Last good version was 8? I You're the only person to say that. People say 7. And a lot of people did not like 8. That's why they skipped 9. Calling you out again? Calling me out for what? Hayate 8.1. Was it better than 8? Because I wouldn't know. Stop grabbing. Stop. Calling. You know what? What do you mean? You I mean you know what? Hayate would use his karate because of amnesia. Spoilers! You'd spoil the intense plot of a fighting game like this? Sacred fighting game plot? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Oof. Steam makes everything super easy too. Proton integration, the only games I have to run it online under. Demetrius is Star Citizen. Oof. Isn't Star Citizen the game that's never coming out? Did you back that game? Because I know one of my mods backed that and feels really bad about it. Yeah, Star Citizen is the game that uh, I feel sorry for anyone who paid money for. The game's never coming out. I'll play it if it ever comes out. You got into it a couple months ago. Why did you get into it if you knew it wasn't gonna come out? Did you not do any research? Oh, dude, I feel so bad for you. Hey, you know what's a great game that I did not get duped into? Because it actually came out incredible as a Kickstarter. It's not really Kickstarter, it's fake, but... Psychonauts 2. So, uh, Psychonauts 2. Actually great game. Uh, streaming it next month because I love Psychonauts so much and Psychonauts 2 is incredible even better than the first game huh. 90s Super GP got fucked over too uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 another game I'm pissed off about maybe I need to stream Vampire the Masquerade this year I've thought about it You got duped by the Ouya, that's fair. I mean, the Ouya is a good emulator. If you really want a good emulator, I recommend the Ouya, man. You paid for two controllers, ooh. At least you didn't get the Stadia. Oh, no, no, I meant recently, Grumple. Like, I thought you would have heard about it if you said you recently got into it. I was like, uh-oh. But I can understand that. I think that's the same exact reason as uh, Jake did. You know, it's a shame. Uh, people like these games. Midora, ooh. I didn't know you can. Can you do that? Did you get your money back? I hope you did. Hey, what's that thing bouncing around on her? Sorry, I'm not sweet. Uh -huh. Her head? Yes, her head. Her ribbons. Hi, Sid Stubborn. What's up? Do you like the booba? I don't know why I'm asking that. Uh, a little weird. 
The new Intellivision, you didn't get duped by that, but you wanted it to come out. I heard about that! I didn't know anything bad happened to it. Or anything didn't happen to it, I should say. <sighs> Chat, what are some of your uh, most hyped for games that are never coming out, I guess? Because for me, Vampire the Masquerade 2 was definitely up there. Vampire the Masquerade 2 is in super dev hell. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever actually coming out, for real, since I played the 2001 build of that. Fans are finishing it, so that's fucking incredible. Legends 3, oof. Hey, maybe they'll do a Legends collection next and then finally decide, Hey, you know what? People actually bought this. Why don't we make a Legends 3? And then they joke about how it feels like they, it's been like 20 years that they've left Mega Man on the moon. Mai is in both Dead or Alive 5 and 6. Mai Shiranui is the one with the very huge eyes. Got some big eyes. Most of them is going into in-engine type stuff that can be licensed out. They're not at all in a hurry to get anything done. That's what sucks. What? Okay, that was weird. Mech Warrior, oof. Mech Warrior, yeah, I know about that one. The new Etri and Odyssey that Atlas used prior to Nexus coming out in Japan. Oof. Well, X doesn't need a new game. There is eight X games. Also, you don't know if it's still in development. We don't know. Remember, COVID has happened. We don't know a lot about game development right now. There's a lot of projects that are going to be affected for like at least like five to ten years that we won't know about. So, COVID is, you know, it sucks. The sequel to Golden Sun Dark Dawn. I don't even think that ever started development, did it? Because, like, they, they teased that was going to happen. Man, the Golden Sun series is something I would be willing to do back-to-back -back, uh, for, like, a full. I would do both games at once, because they're kind of the same game cut in half for cartridge space. So, that could be something that we do, but I don't think I'd want to play the DS one. I started it with a friend, and we were going to do more of it for retro achievements, but he just got so busy. The announced sequel to Ninja Baseball Batman? I never knew that was getting a sequel. I'm not Hayate, I'm Guy Ate. No one got refunds. Fuck that guy. Well, to be fair, um, Mega Man X was meant to have an ending, and then they just decided it, they didn't need an ending so they could make more games, and it was a mistake. So, uh, kind of their own fault for continuing it after five. Rhythm Thief 2. Ooh. Like, the more I hear about that one, I think I've heard a few friends talk about it. Uh, Glover 2. But you know how I feel about that company. Mighty number nine on Vita? No. They're probably the same people who wanted the Wii U port or something. Well, that one might actually have a Wii U port, but you know how many Kickstarters did not get Wii U ports and everyone was like, oh, dude, that sucks. Of course, obviously, but like they said it was too hard to develop most of the time. They're just like, yeah, we can't Get develop ready. this. <laughs> there was a Wii U port, but it was shit. Even for Mighty Number no. 9, that's impressive. It's 
Excuse me, what are those iframes? Goodbye, Tengu. Woman Tengu. You know, Blade X. I mean, did that game actually have a plot that needed a sequel? God, Bloodstained is so good. One of my favorite Kickstarter games was was that one. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, we got two minutes, so uh, let's show off some booba. Pause the game. Yeah, I might have just found my new main. Uh, you can consider me kind of a gamer. Get ready. Zach, please! Zach wearing battle ready armor before it was cool. Hmm. Why is she fighting in such a graceful outfit? I've never understood this. Too fancy for fighting. The keyword here is almost, meaning he didn't get me. Oh no. I love the stock scream. You don't have to fight in it, you can fight in something else and still be an opera singer. I still can't hear you. Alright, last match, then we're moving on. We'll do a final game of the night next. Alright, I forgot how easy the story mode is. Alright, if you want to get in on the next raffle, it's going to be Jiggle. I love to see the plot. You know, Arcade, I really love to see that plot. Ooh, Mamma Mia. God damn, the neighbors are token up. I can hear, I smell that dankness. Too dank.
Could have suggested any of the extra. I can check. Maybe one day I can have that as a uh, my choice. No, uh, Arcade, it's not because of you. I've wanted to for a while. I secretly have the Xbox emulator. Don't tell anyone. I, I downloaded it like a half a year ago. I've just, a lot of the games don't work. There's a list of the game compatibility. That's why I'm like, I'll do it. Why do you think I said it earlier? I was like, man, I gotta play Ninja Gaiden Black on stream. I've had it and it works. I just, I haven't said I want to stream it yet. Do the old 10 second countdown. Please save your game ready. Helps this go a lot faster. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lindia, congratulations. Oh, too late, Alex. Sorry. Project Horned Owl. I do that? Is that gonna have seizure? I'm just, I'm asking. I gotta ask. If it's gonna be seizure, I'm not gonna play it. That goes for any like gun game. I assume I trust your judgment. Game, seizure game, seriously. Million dollar reward to anyone who can remove the seizure from every game ever. He's out, Sonic Tender fan, thanks for stopping by. Anime. Supply units, prepare to dispatch. We have reports of Metallica terrorist activity on the Metro Highway. Calling 3, 7, and 4, 5. Prepare to launch from Hangar 4 with C2 armor. Roger, roger. Now that is a horned owl. I've seen a lot of owls in my days, am I right?
I'm sending you updated strategic data. We're counting on you guys. Roger. Three, seven, four, five. Prepare for takeoff. Ready. Power on. I've never even heard of this game. What is this? They're having way too much fun down there. We'll take care of that. A talk from someone in shooting range. Does this have gun con? I assume it does. Hero, keep it cool. He said it was uh due to the light gun stream. Romeo calling oh. and four, five. Metallica is This is not a light gun game. South block section three. Huh. North. You'll be facing at any moment. Did they Did they just make a light gun game and decide they didn't need a light gun? Is this Pat Labor? No, this is Project Horned Owl. Reload, 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 reload. That kind of bothers me. Because I was excited to use Gun Con. Watch out, civilians. And kill civs. You shot an innocent. This is reminding me, uh, if you missed earlier, we have a new alert for 150 biddies. Pretty cool game though, I like it. This game's biggest flaw is that the gun does not work. Unless it for some reason needs the Konami justifier. Hold on, hold on. This has support for the justifier? See if that works. The Metro Highway in South Block Sector One. No, that doesn't work. How about Mouse? Roger, on our way. Nope. That's a shame. Hey. Reload, reload. Oh, there's a ton of them. Gotcha. Yeah, the only downside of this game is it doesn't seem to want to work with gun. I don't know how they made a lot of light gun games and they just decided, eh, but it doesn't need support for the gun con controller that already exists. This would play so much smoother. I have to reset. Nah, you don't have to do that uh, on my PS1. How are you even reloading that big gun? Uh, R1.
That's cool. There's some neat stuff in this game. Come to the bridge that connects downtown and uptown. Don't damage it. Easy for you to say. What's up, dog? Die Hard Trilogy? Yeah, Die Hard Trilogy is really good. I think that's the only way I enjoy Die Hard 2. And then there's also Die Hard Trilogy 2. Only three credits. Oof. I should really stream Kamuro of the Dead at some point, which is just uh, Yakuza Dead Souls, but made into House of the Dead, as they they did that for Judgment. Hello, it's me. We're playing uh, more light gun games today. Yeah, so uh, for this light gun game, it's not a real light gun game. We're just playing it in uh, Judgment. This is my stream of Judgment. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many games I wanted to do. I, I mentioned at the start I had uh, flashing. I, I couldn't do them. I could not risk doing them. Which is why I'm allowed to do this game. I think the arcade versions are fine, but I was having issues. I was trying to get, there is a Time Crisis version of Cobra of all anime series. Yes, that Cobra, Cobra Space Adventures. The one with Crystal Boy. And Rock Knight and Death Ball. It's a cult classic. Yeah, I mostly know it for the Retsu Prey, but I've seen the anime. Quite dumb. Romeo, before damage. It's just, if you wanted Time Crisis, but it was Cobra Space Adventures, well, that exists. I don't know why it does, but it does. Have information that the Metropolitan Airport is being targeted by the Metallica Terror. Oh, the adventure game is real dumb. It's got uh to the site. Rock Knight, got Death Ball. Let's go. Other dumb stuff. Don't just shoot everything. There are civilians in the area, you know. Don't kill civilians. Uninvited guest. That's what I call a Traz when he shows up to one of these streams. Rock Knight and Death Ball were the original characters. I'm pretty sure Death Ball was not a character. I think that was just a thing they encounter in that game.
One of these days I do need to stream uh, last alerts. I'm pretty sure it was just a trap called Death Ball. It's like, watch out for the Death Ball. Ober is just a strange series. It never really was sure what it wanted to be. game this is uh project horned owl i would like this game a lot more if the gun con worked for it but uh yeah it doesn't the konami justifier was not working with this game either apparently it does i don't know why it's not but It just it would just be way better. That's it's a fine game. It's it's just missing something. The lives of the airport staff, those of the innocent civilians in the terminal are in grave danger. Roger. Sorry. Yeah. Better take care of them. Get going. We'll stay here to mop up these guys. I like the charge mechanic. I think that's a really cool idea. Damn, Zoids keep attacking me. Oh, hi there, Sunder. How is your Earth life? If only Camille was here with her vast knowledge of being French. Watch out for unarmed civilians in the terminal. Roger. Roger. Hi. Hi. Repeat, this is an emergency announcement. The airport has been completely Well, to see this is like properly two player though. In the terminal building should follow the instructions of the airport staff. The what we really need to do is play Hidden Mansion 2. Or, or not Hidden Mansion 2 uh Onto Museum 2, that's what it was. The airport is now at level 3 emergency alert. The control tower and area 2C in the basement level are completely sealed. No entry is allowed to the control tower or area 2C in the basement level. Like, I feel like the controller doesn't go fast enough for you to shoot a lot of these enemies. Which fucking sucks. Getting readings above you. Oh, there's another one on the second floor. What? Let's go to the second floor, hero. Right. Haunted Casino 2. Very funny. Never happening. Those aliens are mannequins. They kind of look like aliens. Emergency response code D7. Repeat, move to code D7. Your 
Attention, please. The Horned Owl Armored Mechanized Unit is currently working to bring the situation under control. Please watch out for falling objects in open spaces. If possible, proceed immediately to the shelter located in Basement Area B. If you are injured, stay where you are and wait for aid. I'm reading numerous enemies outside the building. Yeah, I love when games try and do that. That was happening earlier in uh, Dead or Alive. This is well Been here. Uh, yeah, there is just too much stuff for me to shoot for one player. Dropping in on this party? It's a real emergency. They've got trouble with their hydraulic system. They don't seem to have any choice but to land. The plane will be landing in a couple of minutes. Please secure a landing strip. What you gotta do. And it's fine, Bolt there's no way to stop it unless you shoot first. I mean, that's not even a problem with this game so much as it is just the genre. They were meant to eat quarters. But I don't feel like that really matters here when the first boss shoots shots at you that you just shoot them out of the air. That's cool, it's like a proper 3D model. Oh, that's terrible. Get him. Ah, uh, the tarmac. Um. Next customer. Let's get this over with. Quick. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Like, what am I aiming for? I'm picking up the approaching airliner on my radar. I, I guess that. Jurassic Park Arcade was notoriously bad at this, yeah. I almost played that the other day. I didn't get that one working. There were three things with that stream. The game either worked didn't work, or it was seizure -y. But I care about the people watching the stream enough to not play the games that are just gonna make me go, yeah, you probably shouldn't be watching this. Our intelligence bureau has located their secret base. This is it. Let's put an end to this thing right now. I just throw on what's up. Just my luck. At least we got an invasion route to draw sewage. This is Project Horned Owl. It smells like my wife's cooking. <laughs> Rude. Isn't this too easy? I'm sure, it's not the easiest way in. But there's no one guarding it at all. This is kind of cool. Look at the way the uh, the tunnel moves. I don't think this is going to be an easy bus. You know what I found out is not a light gun game? Doing research for that stream, which we did not get around to doing. Did you know Lucky and Wild is not a light gun game? Like you think it would be? And you're like, whoa, 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 hold on. No, I've used a gun controller with that. Not a light gun game. Secretly not a light gun game. They couldn't do it. 
it's actually a game using a controller that looks like a gun that moves based on the way you turn it. Does it have light gun features? Yes and no. Uh, it seems to only do it for the Konami Justifier, not the Gun Con. What game? Uh, Lucky and Wild, if you know which one that is. Operation Wolf. Yeah. Every game needs a sewer level. CV11 would disagree with you. That poor main and his sewer count. By the way, sewer count. Gotta put the sewer count up. Okay, they were complicated joysticks. Exactly. See, you're onto it. That's a shame because it's like, damn. This isn't really, like, a, the cool game that I thought it was. Because Lucky and Wild's a pretty good game. It's just, you're using a complex gun. You can kind of tell from the way it moves, though. Especially right here, you could tell. As opposed to me using, like, a mouse. Had to add a sewer level. Yeah. The other thing is, so many of the enemies are worthless that you shoot the wrong enemy because they don't do damage. You just saw a couple of them walk by and not do anything. It, like, what am I supposed to do? I gotta, I shoot everything I see. No items to get you health back either, which kind of sucks. It's a really cool game, though. I just, just this game could be so much better. game though like I probably can make a difference if you're playing if you're playing this in co-op and you're playing it with someone who has two light guns I bet this game is really good but I feel like for me playing this on controller I'm, I'm just not getting the full experience and nope Is it compatible? Apparently, but it didn't work when I quickly put it on. Compatible with mouse and... what was the other thing? Mouse and Konami Justifier. Didn't work. Uh, it will probably end soon though because we're... We're not doing good on health. We'll sneak in through the parking garage. Music's really good too. You see what I mean there? The game swerved in such a way that it's like rude. Alright, yeah, that's a good way to end. That's Project Horned Owl. Name entry. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> that's that's cute.
You're putting two credits in a light gun game and dual wield two light guns? I have! The, the most amazing experience is doing that on House of the Dead 3, because you get two big dual shotties. Mark a YouTube video? What? You mean, mark a YouTube video? Good luck with that, though. Uh, that was Project Horned Owl. Uh, I would like that game, like I said, a lot more if the things worked, but... Still a really cool game! Uh, I bet with a friend, it's a blast. Also, maybe Infinite Lives. Can you even reload that shotgun one-handed? The shotgun was made to be reloaded, I'm pretty sure, by shooting off the screen, so... Yes. I'm, like, 90% sure that's how you shoot it. Well, reload it. I good luck finding a Let's Play for that. I have a feeling there won't be many. Mostly because light gun game. Alright, if you want to get in on the next raffle to decide what we're going to start with for next week, it's going to be gun. Uh, the Uzi is four. That's the one you have to shake. This will be what we start with for next week. Schedule for the week. We're going to start Metal Gear Solid 2 tomorrow. Exciting. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, maybe my favorite Metal Gear game? That's a tough question. I actually cannot tell you if that is or not. Remember, you just got to be following and enter the keyword and have a game ready. That's all I got to do. Uh, Sunday. Sunday is going to be the birthday stream. We're going to play Jackbox. We're going to play Gardic. We're going to play some other games. Get everyone in. Have a good time. Just a whole bunch of different Jackbox stuff. Ooh. And like Tear Yard for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Tuesday will probably be more Metal Gear Solid 2. I have a feeling that'll take two streams. We do this every Thursday. Coming up, though... Once August hits, I'm gonna find some time for us to do... We're gonna do, like, a Psychonauts 2 playthrough at some point. I don't know when. Early August, maybe? Ape Escape crossover? Yeah, we'll do that when we get to three. Ape Escape three next year, because I don't know, I decided to do them all in April. Means uh, we will play the Metal Gear Monkey crossover with that. Alright, let's roll this. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Golden, what are we starting next week with? The Power Rangers? Again? And, uh, I'm gonna call Mr. Knight, I'm gonna be like, hey. We're, we're, hey, yeah, no. Yeah, uh huh, yeah, we're, we're playing Power Rangers again. Cartoon Network Speedway. Ooh boy. Another GBA eraser. We've. I've, I've tried that one on stream. It's it sure is a video game. Thank you though. Let's 
go find someone to read. Yeah, I, I, I probably should read them. Uh, what is our raid message? Poll should hopefully be reset tomorrow, so I'll give it a couple extra streams. I'll probably stream a second game. We'll see, just to give it some uh, room. Anyone got a raid message? I plot? What? Hmm. Maybe something with the jiggle physics? A lot of jiggle physics today. Yeah, let, you know what? Let's do jiggle physics. Do jiggle physics. We're gonna do Jiggle Physics. We're gonna raid Sam Sam. Sam Sam is playing Final Fantasy IX! Sam Sam almost never streams, so gotta do it. You can do the Physics Jiggle as well. Uh, we're gonna do jizgle, Jiggle Physics. Thank you all uh, so, so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with Metal Gear. Stay safe, get into each other though. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, peace out. See you next time.